it uh, really hasn't caught up. I hit start. We'll see. We'll send them. We'll send somebody over there to test and see if it's running or not. If not, I'll just kill it. So, and it looks like we are live here at twitch.tv slash conspiracy horseman. GGP looks like he's worn out because he's been killing it in the horseman chat with link after link, sending us down rabbit holes upside down, back and around. He's chasing you around the ring and you're all blown up just from trying to get your mind right from all the shit that he's been sending. But we're going to cover it here all the night because I'm the rocket launcher. Biggie stomped ya high as a motherfucking helicopter. Fuck a misdemeanor. I'm beating you like GGP beat the John Cena infidels. That's right. And we're back here tonight. The conspiracy horseman. Oh, I hear myself. Yeah. Yo, you, yeah it's uh, no, it's not me. Here we no, are. It's me. It was, uh... Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash conspiracy horseman. Oh, man. I uh, see it loading up already here in the chat room. Tuttle's first in the in there. And then Ordo Monster. I'm ready to check these fools if they need to get checked. Lone Nutcase checking in. Um, and there's four Nutcases here tonight, man, because so it's too much to keep up with. It, it, it is too much. Like the, the level of things that are coming in that we're being scooped to, uh, we're almost uh, at Kanye West level breakdown at this point, guys, I think. Stevie, how are you holding it together with your laser gun? Oh, everything. No, that's a real gun with a laser attached to it. Uh, AKA laser gun. So I, I wanted to do something. I, I, I don't know if this could go well or go bad, but um, I felt like I wanted to help GGP out because he's so busy, not able to watch wrestling. So I figured once a week on the Conspiracy Horseman, I would catch um, GGP up on the current high quality product of uh, professional wrestling to really sum up each and every every week so this is a clip for you ggp first of all don't tell me what to do you want to laugh Chiruso, huh <laughs> sounds like churro kind of can we like call chorizo. you churro chorizo yeah. i love that i love something. chorizo too anyways <sighs> uh, what would it mean what would it mean uh it would mean we just prove to the world what we've been saying all along for the past i don't know eight years that we are the freaking best and we're at the top of the food chain. We're the top of the locker room. We're the leaders, the freaking role models. And we are taking over the whole damn company. Listen. Ding dong. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> so those are your two top uh, talents on WWE. That's, that's four. They have four titles. They're featured on three shows. <laughs> they have four titles. Uh, Who is that? Who is that? Sorry, that's the golden. That's the golden role other. models. How dare you say? <laughs> who is that with work? I was going to say Taker level? sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I get a get well, a, they a actually mic did check? An impression of Undertaker on yeah. one show too. They which did. Is really. But they, they uh, called. They, they uh, dude, well. Aon Drazen uh, drinking and bitten over there. Five thousand bits and gifting subs like crazy to our diehards. Uh, to I'm Triple Seven, Justin French, Social Distance Warrior, Big Evil Pops, and Chris O Six Double Deuce. Who was asking uh, on Twitter for, uh, oh, God, why is there twerking? I'm all kind of fucking distracted. Um, you know, the, asking about the Kanye West breakdown. So I was already thinking about ass, and then they're coming in doing laundry, twerking. I'm, I'm all fucked up. GGP, take it away, man. Listen, um, we're going to tell you. He's having a little uh, glitch in his little microchip that he got from boy, uh, Sal's boy Oof. on the low, low, Elon Musk. He's, t- he's trying to divorce, what's her name? That that Nixon, uh, Kardashian. Kardashian. Thing. All that Tell ass. He's saying Harriet Tubman didn't, didn't free any slaves. She just shifted and lifted them to different white people. I have no idea what the hell is going on, bro. All I know is that the world is burning, and we're sitting here to bring it to you live and in color because that's what we do. I'm excited. Uh, we're actually uh, we're talking about live. Uh, can I get somebody from the twitch.tv slash conspiracy horseman chat to jump over to uh hackerhameen.podbean.com we're trying to go live here for the first time i'm not sure if we have the right setup and if they're just getting dead air over there right now uh i'll end it but uh somebody uh, jump over there and see uh if you hear us uh on that stream too because trying to get the signal out to the underground as much as we can we got great subscribers over there uh and obviously with the new hameen media group.podbean.com the horror junkyard the first show to be uploaded there not only did it hit two million downloads by itself the very first show 
Just Chuck alone. Uh, yes, shout out to Big Chuck, man, producer for that. And uh, all of the affiliate shows now going to be shining over there uh, as well. Man Beast just uploaded uh, his first debate show with South Park versus um, Family Guy with Rick Vickery and uh, our own MSGUs on vacation. I'm sure there'll be a Star Wars debate coming up versus Star Trek very soon. I'm sure that will happen as well. So we know who'll go over in that already, though. So, um, Sal? Who, uh, what Nancy Browns were you ready to stomp this week when you heard them? Oh, talking? I would, you know what, man? <laughs> I've taken such a laid back angle here. I, I'm just playing, I'm just gonna, I'm playing the violin while the, while the world burns and I'm just watching. I'm just gonna watch. Yeah, man. As the world burns, baby. I'm just gonna play, play my violin sweetly. DGP wants to say it. As the world burns, I spread like germs. Bless the gold with the pestilence. The hard headed never learn. It's my testament to those burn. Play my position in the game of life, standing firm. And that's what we're doing, man. I mean, it's the parables that we seek like that that keep us going through it. While Stevie and I said the same thing, even just about the wrestling business. And here we are approaching vastly as baseball starts, NFL starts, NBA starts, hockey starts. Dude, the wrong when it comes crashing down and it hurts inside on Bruce when ratings hit a 1.3 by what? SummerSlam. Dude, they were 1.5 last week. Oh this week's God, show oh, is shit. even worse. I don't know what the what the numbers are today, but they couldn't be <laughs> any better. XR Butcher is saying <clears throat> streaming loud and clear on Podbean. Wow, love it, love it. We're, oh, we're doing it big, doing it big, yo. Uh, oh, they can only hear me though. Hmm. Are oh, you the only one talking? Oh, sorry. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boom, boom, boom. Well, get some mic time in, man. Tell me what's going on with GGP. <clears throat> Nothing, bro. Like I said, I'm watching the world burn. We're having Trump telling uh, Jizzy Max, uh, you know, giving her regards or whatever he said to her. People are trying to figure out what does that mean? He wishes her well. Okay. Does that mean he knows something? She gonna get Don't whacked? die. <laughs> <laughs> Is she going to get whacked like someone in The Sopranos? Um, you know, then we have Kanye West having a meltdown. I think he was upset because he didn't put in the coupon code for Stevie Rich's fitness. He didn't save his 15%. Mm. Um, yeah, dude. What else? What else? We, we find out about this guy who killed the unfortunate circumstance, the judge that's supposed to be handling this Epstein case. Yeah. Uh, the, the father and, and the son, the, the shooter himself, was a lawyer who had connections to Crawl, K-R-O-L-L. And yeah, Black we're going to cover Cube, a lot of that, that tonight. Stuff. That's That's really got to have a light shined on it. Like I said, GGP was just annihilating it in the horseman chat. I had to spend the last 90 minutes just coming up to speed on a lot of things. So my head's spinning, man. I appreciate you uh, doing all that legwork. And Larry Egner sending us stuff. It's just swamp gas, you know, staying on it strong. Uh, who sent uh, the Max Egan bit uh, about the COVID? The uh, great thing? reset. A final, that's part that, of a 45, 50-minute uh, video he put up that got taken down a couple times. Yeah. But that sums it up pretty good in about four or five minutes. Span. We could probably get him on if you guys are interested in having him on about that. I don't know if you sure, guys watched it. Sure, get him it, on because Terry Crews ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> also, well, the, Stevie, the Stevie Ray wants on. The Max Egan thing is pretty interesting because mm. we thought when we – I think we covered it one week where we were scared there was going to start a trend of – people getting sued like not because the Wolfgang was the first one because of the Sandy Hook stuff then Max Egan got sued for was it that as well and something else he got sued for and then we like Max went away and came back with this great reset video I think was the first major upload he put up since then and then when they sued Stevie there was no one <laughs> to defend <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom! Laser gun in the room. <laughs> oh man! Gotta leave the house. Get sued. Yeah. Absolutely. Listen, to quote a famous line from Rocky: "Sue me for what? What are they gonna oh. sue? Sue my wife for what? It's all in her name." <laughs> <laughs> um, As her head pops in the room. <laughs> what? Sue who now? And now I was fun actually uh, being on her show for. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, the name. Who chainsaw? You want chainsaw? Sir? No, no, no. The 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 real wife, not the kayfabe kayfabe one. Um, uh, cre- uh, what's the name? Career of junkie career, podcast. Career you junkie should know thing. the word junkie. You've been in wrestling for yeah, like true. 15, 20 years. Uh, my God, and career. Andy that. <laughs> yeah, a junkie enough trying to grab my junkie. <laughs> the uh, junkie junkie <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, inappropriate touching but, with Andy Dick. That's not a bad fucking name for a show. Um, but yeah, career junkie was a lot of fun, man. If you want to, 
get kind of the insight on my marketing and a, a great interview and just the, the background of, of what goes on. And I did stooge off the Andy Dick story yesterday on Patreon at a <laughs> level I probably haven't to before uh, in some more detail. So we just passed 700 on Russo uh, TWC Patreon. So it's it's a, a good story to subscribe to if you haven't so, yet. So you told everybody about all that pineapple he ate that night? Uh, well, Boop. Uh, oof. Boop. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, so Hans and uh, Theory Girl, they're saying Ben's louder than everybody else on Podbean. I only hear Ben. Everybody else is BG noise. We're all background. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just the way it's wired through the board. Um, I'll have to get it set up. I'm going to kill the live stream on Podbean, but thanks for checking. Just want to hear a good Hans story. Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Hans has went MIA at the NFO podcast. We haven't seen him or heard from him in about I don't know week a month and a half maybe and uh i think he got a little boo-boo a uh, little butt hurt did he i said he that that he uh he he dropped his stock dropped as being the leading email guy because he got replaced by homeboy 88 sal i'm um, sal's favorite person and uh <laughs> he uh he went m.i.a i don't know what happened so i don't know oh, boy homeboy eight weeks i'm just saying eight weeks right now yeah, so I don't know if he's hunting him, trying to deport his ass back to Mexico. Maybe he got a bad orange that homeboy sold him. I have no idea, but uh, he's gone. <laughs> yeah. So, um, question: uh, Theory girl in the chat room. Shout out to you, Theory girl. I uh, hope you're doing good. Lisa Torch, uh, Disco L Swayze in there, Bang Biscuit, uh, obviously doing his art. Dogs of War going bull- uh, ballistic for a walk right now. Uh, and yeah, Mex Lisa Warrior. Torch has her new cookbook coming out on does Friday. She? Oh, awesome! Yes, does awesome. what kind of cookbook? Nash Vegan. It's like a different, like Nashville vegan type cookbook mm. based on Nashville recipes. Mm. I figured you would like that. I, so I'll definitely get it for mm. the for the wives. Yeah. They, they love the the southern cooking, especially if it's yeah, healthy. yeah. Nash vegan. I always get I always get nervous around when people say vegan. I'm like, mm. yeah. use the code but, Big Vito to actually pay more for the book. Twenty <laughs> percent at more at checkout. <laughs> um, Actually, Nash Vegan is her reboot of Nash Bridges. Uh, in the I South. was going to say, isn't that Don Johnson's movie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, quick question, movies. Stevie. If you use Big Vito, you got to pay more, which means she's going to sell more because we know Vito don't sell. So no. someone has to sell, right? Boom. Hey, <laughs> no. uh, can we not? Just kidding, let's Vito. Not, just let's kidding, not, Vito. Let's I love not you. Smarch Big Hito. Oh, come on, dude. I love the guy. Wait, wait. Here's the deal. Let's we not have get that crazy either. Chat. <laughs> yeah, we have, somebody, we have somebody in our chat who will get sincerely butthurt if we talk bad about Hito, mm-hmm. considering he, he subscribes to his podcast, gets alerts, mm-hmm. um, actually has changed his name on Call of Duty to Big Vito FBI. Um, he act that's legit. I'm not even making a joke. Wait, quiz is on the quiz is on the quiz. Is, quiz is on the- <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Uh, no, this is tell him. way more pathetic. So uh, yeah, so we uh, let's 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 all back off the big heat out. He's, he's just spreading nothing but positivity, guys. Uh, they're asking when's the new horror junkyard drop. They'll drop usually on Saturdays. Uh, they get them to me, but they're, now they're over at HameenMediaGroup.Podbean.com. So make sure you subscribe on your iTunes, Spotify, or Podbean uh, over there, guys. A lot of shows are going over there. All of the uh, you know pet project shows are moving over there. We're going to kind of keep it strictly fight sports and conspiracy at HackerHameen.Podbean.com. So things aren't getting glossed over or lost in the mix, you guys. Appreciate you subscribing over there. Um, boom. He said, I never said your name pop. Um, what else is going on in the chat? Somebody had a question, uh, as, as well. I missed it though. Um, plenty going on with Elon Musk. Number f- went from number seven to number five, richest man on the planet in two weeks. Bezos earning $13 billion a day. And then the story drops. I'll bring it up here. Um, Musk, Elon Musk claims his Neuralink chip will allow you to stream music Cannot directly wait. to your brain. Uh, let me see here. Didn't he recently just tweet, if you can't beat him, join him? Did they, did they tweet that? Oh, yeah. No, well, because he was, he was against all the AI stuff, right? Yeah. So do you think he's compromised? Do you think he was just poking fun at everybody? How about when he uh, had his whole crew shift to uh, focusing on just mission to Mars? So is there like government money that he tapped into into some, you know, uh, slush fund that is is renamed? And now he's got. That's why he went from 
whatever X amount to number seven richest billionaire, not just because of the satellites and all that kind of shit, but from what you just said, now he's made an untouchable as one of the masters. I think that's what, yeah, that's what, when we, when we were talking about this and, and, you know, when he started out with, oh, AI is going to be a big problem, big problem. And everybody got very, uh, everybody got very scared of it. And they were like, oh, well, Elon Musk is, and, uh, and everybody backed off of it. Everybody stopped, jumped. They were like, oh, well, he's right. He's right. We shouldn't fuck with it. And then all of a sudden he's like, boom, here you go, everybody. Like, Have a handful. It. Well, well, there's two stories to tie in here, but here, let me read this one. Elon Musk's mysterious Neuralink, st- mysterious Neuralink st- startup is working on a brain-computer interface that will allow wearers to stream new music directly to their brain. Uh, the technology entrepreneur, entrepreneur has claimed great because you need little Uzi Vert right to your fucking head, hardwired. Uh, Mr. Musk, who also heads up SpaceX and Tesla, is set to reveal new information about the mysterious startup set next month, but has been slowly releasing details over Twitter in recent days. Responding to computer scientist Austin Howard, Mr. Musk confirmed that Neuralink's technology would allow people to listen to music directly from our chips. He also said that Neuralink could help control hormone levels and use them to our advantage, enhancing abilities and reasoning, anxiety, relief, etc. Wow. Uh, since its founding in 2016, Neuralink has only held one major public presentation about how the technology will work. Speaking at the 2019 event, Mr. Musk, Musk said the firm was working on a sewing machine-like device that would provide a direct connection between a computer and a chip inserted within the brain. What the fuck la- what are they doing in the labs there? What does that look like? Uh, the technology could uh, will first be used to help people suffering from brain disease like Parkinson's, but the ultimate aim of Neuralink is to allow humans to compete with advanced artificial intelligences. Uh, the process of having a chip fit will be similar to LASIK laser eye surgery, according to Mr. Musk. One, of, one part of it will involve a neurosurgical robot with its flexible threads into the brain connecting to a tiny implant computer chip. A research paper detailing the device claims that a single USB-C cable, which is what your Android phone charges with, will be will provide full bandwidth data streaming to the brain. Neuralink has 11 job postings listed on its website, uh, Stevie, offering roles for a mechanical designer, Sal, a robotic software engineer, me, and a, his, and a histological technician, GGP. Uh, over the weekend, Mr. Musk made a request for people with specific expertise in wearables. If you've solved hard problems with phones, wearables, ceilings, signal processing, inductive charging, power management, etc., please consider at working at Neuralink. Uh, I just sent my resume in, by the way. Just sent it. More information is yeah. set to be announced on August 28th. Two things. <laughs> two, th- just two? <laughs> just, just two? <laughs> One. One, right? You can, if they can play streaming music into your brain. Yeah. Right? That means you're listening to music without using your ears? What, what, yes, what, I mean, it's just in your mind and no one else can hear yeah, it. Yeah, man. So second thing, if they can stream music in your brain, who's not to say they can stream a voice into your brain like Son of Sam and but drive they can. you fucking You still have nuts. your thought. You still got your own thought, bro. Yeah, but if you have someone in your head telling you, kill, kill, kill. Well, I mean, this is more well, Aldous. This is more Aldous years, Huxley. I haven't killed anybody. <laughs> this yeah. is more Aldous Huxley, though, Brave New World, than it is uh, Orwell, nineteen eighty four. <laughs> even though in Huxley's, the the part that stuck out to me is let's control anxiety, where now you're doing thought crimes, and when you get kill, 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 they without you know your permission, that's going to trigger something to release dopamine to chill you out, which is what Huxley's saying is just in pill form. Steve, well, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, no, sorry. Well, no, no, no. I'll say my second thing after you, you talk. My no, my thought was the simple thought was um, there used to be in a game. There used to be in um, uh, Cyberpunk. There was a thing that when you're in a spot, uh, normally how your body produces. What's a spot? Uh, any kind of if you're if you're stuck somewhere, if you're stuck in a situation. Liver spot. Point and type thing. Li- right. So if if you're if you get that adrenaline, so moms can lift cars off of kids and shit. Yeah. But now imagine if you can release that whenever you wanted to. Well, that's a perfect segue into my second question. Okay. Now, if they Go. have this capability of, of, of advancing the human being with this chip, would this be banned by the Olympics and sporting outlets? Very yes. similar to like being a PED. Right. If it can, I if mean, it can, can get one hour adrenaline. Sleep. Right. It could throw more adrenaline into you or uh, for guys, if it gives you more... Uh, 
for more hormone, uh, you know, that sort of thing. That would it would have to be regulated, regulated, and you'd have to, you know, that whole situation. But I feel like, like, okay, I, I, I've brought this up before. Remember the stupid toothbrush that played music, and when you brushed your teeth, all you needed was the vibrations in this toothbrush that played the dumb music. As you're brushing your teeth, you hear it in your ears. And that was the thing. Like, that, they sold that to kids. So, you know, why not? You don't need your ears to listen. All you needed was the vibration. And as you're brushing your fucking teeth, that's, that's hardwired to your whole skull. I've never heard that before. No, no, but look it up. It was, it was no, I'm not doubting you. I've just never, I never heard of it. No, they actually had commercials. It was, stu- it was a stupid little thing. And it had all the different, it had like boy band shit on. So, and you brush your teeth and the vibrations would come through the toothbrush and it, your head works like a fucking, like an earphone. So you it would just send the vibrations. It's a, well, I, I'm, I'm sure you could. You just use the same technology. That stuff will go right through. It'll transmit through your skull. And you don't even need earphones or anything else. You brush your teeth. And while you brushed your teeth, it played the music for a certain amount of time. So the kids would brush their teeth for that length of time. And then it would stop. So you knew then you stopped brushing. I feel like I remember that vaguely from when I was a kid, man. But I, I, I'm trying well, to Well, like, it was something I, I'm going to say within the past 10 years, because I was living in this house when I saw the commercial. Mm, oh, so really? I, I feel say like that's something that's been 11 years it's, been, oh, it's okay. been there. So. Hmm. Um, a couple things, Stevie, to pitch it to you. This p- plays in, obviously, to what we've talked about with transhumanism and, and moving stuff forward, um, how he folds on the AI. But then we had this other story about the AI learning at light speed, you know, uh, to be able. And if his excuse is like, we need to keep up with AI so we can dr- download USB via USB C directly to our head, and the Trojan horse is always going to be medical for Parkinson's or backed up by music and entertainment. I need to block out the craziness of the world, man. But uh, they're moving full speed ahead in the number five richest man in the fucking world. Uh, based off of that Max Egan thing that you sent, where he's saying they're making a digital prison for us. I just want to put that whole picture together and hear your thoughts on all that, man. Yeah, it's amazing that um, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have... Uh, at lightning speed in the past two weeks during the course of an economic meltdown and a pandemic worldwide have, I mean, what happened in the past two weeks besides an infusion of money from government or something that's not on the books? Mm -hmm. Because it can't be because people are buying a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. Can't be because the economy is booming. On the other hand, with this, this reminds me of minority report that just to go off your thought, Ben, if they can, monitor these levels kind of like a contact tracing app in the phone sure if they can monitor your levels and know that you're predisposed to possibly at this level commit that crime commit a murder <sighs> crime of passion anything they could do it on the on the term of we have so much crime crime is so high which it is right now if we can do this we can stop the rioters before they burn something down we can stop uh, a kid from getting killed because this situation is so heated. And on the other end of it too, if they can uh, curb your anxiety and all these other things and lower the negative emotions, can't they also in a, like shut down other ones too much like equilibrium? If you ever, I don't know if anyone hasn't seen that movie, but that movie and it was in a liquid dose form. Right. To even out your mood, because that's what, what that's what Huxley's real... Brave New World is, and there's a whole new series that they they just released. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on Amazon Prime or not, but I, I'd like us all to watch it because uh, some people are either Orwell people or Huxley, but seems like what they're talking about here is a digital version of that drug to keep people leveled out instead of like doing something where your brain's sewn into this fucking well, neuro. Well, just to you know, just to close the thought though, because it just like in wrestling, like. A heel has to have some form of truth in their statements. They have to have credibility in order to still kind of be a heel or a baby face, depending upon how they act on that truth. Look at the world. We just joked about it burning down and all these things. What's it all based on? Emotion. People overreacting. People's brains just, you know. Fear and paranoia. Fear and loathing. 
Fear, yeah. right out of right out of Hunter S. Thompson, fear and loathing. Well, there you go. So maybe all this is a little bit more of a play to late the lie hop. Let it high, let it happen. Let it get that bad on purpose. These things about the neural link and these things about Kirby anxiety and negative emotions and stuff and helping people to become calmer human beings essentially is kind of the timing is kind of odd. GGP, how about if Kanye is one of the first ones to get it so they can even him out like he's a living experiment for Neuralink, you know what I mean? Go, and Musk has backed him before, like, on some shit, hasn't he? Like, stood up to, like, put him over in uh, their weird little society that way. You know what? You might not be too far off. Uh, this could be a test run. He might be the uh, test subject, if you will. But to be honest with you, why does he need to be evened out? Let the guy think freely. That's what we talk about, right? Be free thinkers. We're going to tell people how to think, how to, what to say, how to act, how to, how to, how to be uh, mentally. Then we're no good than you know we're no better than anybody else. At the end of the day, if the guy ship back crazy, right? Mm. Going to be ship back crazy. Is he having a bipolar episode or is it an MK Ultra meltdown where this could guy's, be both? Could be either or, know. or he could just be waking up like get out. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. We have no idea what the hell's going on. It's not the first time, you know? No. It's not the first time he's uh, come out into some crazy stuff. So who right. knows? No, well, that's that's the thing. They, when I say they, and I hate I hate doing that. I I, I, I apologize for saying the word they. Sal, <clears throat> Sal, it's, jo- yeah. George Bush hates black people. Exactly. Well, that's, <laughs> that's just what I mean. That, that's what I want to say, like, They've let him come out and be outrageous and be stupid and say all the dumb shit. Because now you got to go, this is the same guy who said George Bush hates black people. And now everybody second guesses everything this idiot says. Mm. Until he drops you know, the next hot single and then he's fucking. Right. And then he's, then he's a genius again. <laughs> and, you know, but um, <laughs> I don't think he's MK Ultra. Only because, only because the, the only reason I feel like he's not is because. They said, you know, like, like he's gone out and done this dumb shit. And I think maybe that's why he did it. He went and did dumb shit. So now they're like, nah, we can't touch him because he's he's done this dumb shit. And now nobody's going to listen to him. If they want to get somebody, um, if they're going to get somebody, res- when I say respectable, somebody that people will listen to, you know, like, uh, you know, you grab somebody. Uh, and I don't even know my 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 respect. Wayne Brady. Me, me off. Who? Wayne Brady. Well, no, see Wayne Brady. You're gonna lose. You're gonna. Lo- but oh, even that, I'm like, take that. People for a say second. Wayne Brady's. Wayne? There's uh, he's bipolar. That there's two Wayne Brady's too. Right, right. And then, and also on that, Wayne Brady has a lot of haters, like from the black community, who call him Uncle Tom. They say he sold out. They say all the sh- evil shit about Wayne Brady, the guy who does nothing. Yeah. The guy who's done nothing. He's a song and dance guy and does let's make a deal. He's done improv and yep. that. He's great yeah. on, you know, you know, it's a good series. Real Husbands of Hollywood. I don't know if you ever watched it with Kevin Hart. It. Kevin Hart, Nelly, uh, Nick Cannon, and him and a couple other guys. Oh, Nick Cannon, please. But it's not like, it's not, it's, it's like Curb Your Enthusiasm. They're, and J.B. Smooth's on it, too. It's pretty, oh, God, it's pretty goddamn funny, dude. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Wait, hold on no, a second. No, but, go on. No, no, that's it. I, like, I, oh. I, I was done with that. But. So now, 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 you know. You know, people are like, oh, this guy says all this crazy stuff that we can't right. pay attention to him. 10, 15 years ago, Mel Gibson came out, said some things. Everyone thought he was shit back. Well, that's crazy. why I was going with Nick Cannon on right. that, right, dude? What, and it right. looks like he was right. It looks like he was right. Yeah, but again, but then, then, you release the, then you release the calls to his daughter and shit, and he looks right. like a fucking right. when the, completely Yeah, the, the one with the hook, the, the, the girlfriend. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I hope a gang of fucking people are raping. You know, like yeah. that sort of shit. You know, like, <laughs> okay, Mel. But then, again, we're, we're at that situation where he came out. That shit got released first. And then the little floodgate opened. So they were like, oh, well, Mel Gibson said he hopes his girlfriend is raped by a gang of black dudes. What does he mean by that? And then he was like, oh, it's run by Jews. And you're like, oh, fuck, Mel, what did you mean by that? <laughs> and now... He then he came out after that and he went, it's all run by fucking adrenochrome addicts and all these motherfucking pedophiles and you're like fucking Mel, what's wrong mm-hmm. with you? And now you look back and you're like, oh no shit, you're right, Mel, good job, buddy. But now you have to if you agree. Here's the thing, 
if you go for the one side, you gotta you gotta kind of accept the rest of the shit he said, and the shit he said is damning, and nobody will ever fucking side with him for it. To to, to you know wish wish a, a black gang rape on your girlfriend, yeah. to call people Zionists and evil Jews, they can't side with it for social reasons. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like Bra- and so Braveheart has lost his motherfucking mind out here, dude. Right, right, right. So, but that's has the thing. He? So if, but that it it doesn't matter. I that's mean, he is three quarters of a bottle himself. He is three quarters of a bottle in of uh, Jack when he's doing this shit. There's no doubt about that. I mean, you can hear it's that still- on it. But you know, sometimes the liquor tells the tale or tells the truth, as Lee he would say. Uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Stevie. Uh, if you had to put her over to get a coast to coast eighties, uh, radio show, uh, would you, uh, whatever that sack of skin was, it looked like Celine Dion earlier today without her adrenochrome. Skeletor. Did you, did you see it? Crypt Keeper too? Which, which one was that? Dude, that, she, was, she was dressed all in white in the chat. Did I send that to the chat? Yes. No, I no, think it was a tweet. Oh, it was a, oh, it was a tweet. No, that might have been on the it? A team. Oh no, that's I, it. I prefer. I, I prefer to send. I prefer to send <laughs> live three sixty five. Live three sixty five an email trying to get a free trying subscription. Trying to go that way. Rather than going down the other road, I know that there's a fork in that road that I can go left or right. I think I'll go mm-hmm. with the uh, the amazing email as you call it, yeah. or get, try to get Billy Ray Valentine to kind of you know parlay a music license so I can. Uh, the 80s love song <laughs> here i'm sending this over right now in the chat let's see uh thumbs up or thumbs down on this one uh pr- like here. pretty unbelievable dude like oh we want to talk about this uh shoe five gimmick let me see i'll bring it up here um uh, dude what is what is going on with these celebrities Looks like sauron <laughs> so, and then in in the in the tweet itself uh sc- if you go i'll bring it up to scroll down dude I there's a pelosi one I thought she looked terrible in the carpool karaoke. If you watch that on YouTube, where it looks like, but it looks like she dropped. I mean, she looks like she weighs forty pounds. Yeah, dude. Like, what is going on? Pelosi looks like Pizza the Hut with her skin falling off her face in the one uh, underneath. Oh, I sent the one that was uh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, Pelosi. Pelosi. Yeah, yeah. Who else was in that? Oh, Kamala Harris looks like a dude now. Like oh, a yeah. total. Her face is all puffy. Like it, this like filler side, I mean, it could just be uh, plastic surgery, but why Injections. is it in the political, the political uh, category or the circles that they run? Why are they all doing this all of a sudden? Because they because can afford they the need, Korean babies. That's right. They, exactly. Ellen's fucking baby foreskin formulas finally got out. Dude, it's after they got it on them. It's like some of that crocodile shit because their hands and face and shit just goes to yeah. total trash. Remember, man. remember F- Fubu for us by us. Yeah, foreskin for us. That's oh, the new that's, that's the shit right there. Uh, maybe it's Maybelline. Oh. <laughs> hey, you check know, out this, check like... out this one. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Uh, at Twitch.tv slash Conspiracy Horseman. Holy uh, shit! You know, dude. you know who else? Um, who else looks like the? If you're a Star Trek fan, which you should be, Star Trek Insurrection when they staple the the face back, Biden looks like one of those guys. He looks like the game yeah. too. Dude, he could be look, like his face has changed. He over could be the bored here too. He looks like the Muppet, one of Jeff Dunham's Muppets, like that mean old Muppet. That's who he looks like. Dude. He does look like a Muppet, dude, big time. So I mean, dude, we we are talking about this on Turkish TV, which is going to be mainstream. You know, was leaked. That got uh, actually overdubbed in English this week. It was interesting to rewatch that. Here we have them coming out into the light, dude. Like, this is the real reptilian shit right here. They're they're turning into reptiles. Some of them, uh, their, their skin almost looks fractalized. You know. Let me okay. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you saw a reptile that looked that haggard? That wasn't dead on the street. They this need they need the to sunlight fuck. to survive, you know. And only only you motherfuckers, you old guys, will get this. Remember whaling flowers and madam? <laughs> That's mm-hmm. who she looks like. She looks like madam, the fucking oh, old, the old haggard. Gosh. The old haggard papa gimmick, yeah. No <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Oh, oh. Fuck you. <laughs> oh man. Um, but you know, the the greater adrenochrome like exposure. Oh, very strange Oof. of what's going on to keep an eye on all of them as they deteriorate. You know, uh, Pelosi looking like a zombie. Dude, bad, real bad, son. Double tap. What about that the bitch. other chick, the, the 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 judge? What's her name? Judge Judy. 
No, the the one in the Supreme Court. She's like seven thousand years old. Ruth can't oh, against oh, yeah. yeah, dude. She kicked out again at two and three quarters, like a Kurt Angle kick out, mm. like last second, boom, like. Jesus Christ, is he still on the bench? I wanted to go back around the horn this way for predictions uh, because Stevie had a a good point I I wanted to get back to about uh, the problem, reaction, solution, and the pre-crime and and everything that's going on. I've been very vocal about, you know, uh, Chicago and the people I care about there and just to see them trapped in a strange bubble. And now this weekend, 150 National Guard and Army are going to be on the south side. And, you know... We're talking problem, reaction, solution. Last night on a Tuesday night at a funeral home, drive by 15, uh, 10 killed, uh, 15 uh, shot altogether. Uh, t- uh, no, was it 15 killed, 10 women, four men, one one wounded? Just insane. And is that stuff going on that's gangland hits? Maybe. Is it agent provocateurs that they want to tune up and get the numbers even crazier so people can finally just say and pass judgment in, from Vermont to Virginia, yeah, well, you've got to shut Chicago down and, and shut these people down. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. It, it's going to be a interesting Petri dish of tension this weekend, I think. Go ahead, anybody. Did anyone question the funeral director at the funeral home because he maybe was just trying to strum up business for himself? <laughs> His business was That's dead. strong. He didn't want to have to go get anybody. Kaboom. Just leave him right there. Listen, uh, Trump's sending in the National Guard, right? He's sending in some from some reinforcements. No, he send no, no. He's sending in federal agents. Okay, federal dress agents. Dress up as uh, military. Okay. The, yeah. And then people on, on on social media are getting upset about this. I don't understand right. the rationale, saying he's a dictator. He shouldn't be doing this. Meanwhile, the violence is escalating to tremendous levels in Chicago. What do you want him to do? Do you want to let him? Let people die, and then you can come back and say you're, you're, the blood is on your hands, Mr. President? Or should he react and send these people in to try to prevent you know, all these deaths and murders from happening? Because let's face it, Chicago is a gun-free state, correct? A democratic yeah. gun-free state. The, you know, city. A city, sorry. And uh, so, I mean, he's trying to, trying to limit the life loss, and people are getting upset. This is how well, biased people are and how how mentally washed, brainwashed these people are but, because of the media. Well, that's here's the thing. Because assholes like Kenny... Isn't and, he dead? Fuck, no. And Cory Booker, all these jerk-offs, they come on and they said, well, if Trump really wanted to help, he could have helped months ago. Now it's now him doing this. Like, it, it, they're saying this, so now everybody, everybody is all on board because they're uh, what's her name came out and she said the Democrat run states of Philadelphia, you know, those things, those Democratic states are the ones who are the Democratic cities and all the mayors. They're the ones who are holding up progress. And then the, they came out and they felt attacked. So they had to come out and say, well, no, Trump should have helped us months ago. And then him doing this, if they don't break the law, and this is my this is what I don't understand. He's sending federal agents so now they said, as long as they don't break our laws, my office will have no issue with them. What? Like, so you have to fucking wave your little fucking dick around because Trump came in and laid his down. I'm the president. I can do it. And I'm doing this to help you stop being fuckheads. And that's what it's come down to. It's become a dick waggling game between all these guys who don't want Nobody wants to get. Nobody, everybody's trying to get over on on the media. You know, everybody wants to get their little spot in to show that they're in charge of. Well, this is my city. Eh, sure, it's his country. Well, you know do why. you guys think it's a coincidence? I mean, we all know there's no such thing as coincidences. That all the scenarios that are going down, with all the mishaps, all the crimes, all the rioting, all the looting, the majority of everything that we are privy to are all in Democratic-run cities. Look at I Pelosi, mean, San Francisco is the biggest oh, hellhole. Yeah, yeah. You thought you thought the ECW arena back in the day was a shithole. I think <laughs> that looks like the freaking plaza compared to San Francisco right now. But it's not a coincidence, bro. They don't care. The majority of the Democratic Party and leaders are only out for themselves. Now, look, I don't care if you're Democrat. I don't care if you're Republican. If you're the right person for the job, get the job done. But here's the deal: the where the world we're living in now has. Had, mazel tov. The world we're living in now 
right? We are broken up into bipartisan situations. Everything is either left or right, red or blue. And that's a problem because somebody's on one team, the next person's on the other team, and they care more about the team than the actual country itself. All these politicians should be strung up and shot putting their Democratic or Republican Party first as opposed to putting America first. How about these? Uh, did you send it about the Ohio? Uh, the Republican scumbags. Yeah, Republican legislator. $60 million, dollars, right? Yeah, fleecing yep. for nuclear power plant and, and lining their pockets with it, you know, big gangster style, you know. And I'm glad that those guys are going out and they're being charged with uh, RICO Act corporate style. And that made me think about what was going on with uh, the the Max Egan piece that Stevie sent. Uh, oh no, it was the uh, the Epstein update piece uh, with the shooter, the FedEx shooter, and how it all ties in from the We Are Change thing, uh, which I kind of want to shift gears on uh, to get to the Kroll and really start to look at this. I, do, I don't want to leave this if anybody else has any points to make on what we're talking about right well, now. Well, I, I want to make one point. Please. I'm not too familiar with the Kroll stuff, so I'm interested to hear about sure. that. I didn't go that far into the, the updates. At its core, at its core, with politicians, this is the Max Egan thing saying it's the politicians versus the the citizens, versus the people, which is actually like the minority versus the vast majority. If it's yeah. you know, like Ben always says, if if you measure it up and you faced off, it would be no win situation for them. Why is it? And just everybody, ask yourself this question: the Nancy Pelosi's, the Maxine Waters. Anybody, Democrat, Republican, or even independents. If they're a representative, AOC, throw AOC because she's the most recent one. They are representatives of your district, of your neighborhood, of whatever part of whatever city or the whole city or the or the, even the state. Why are they not living in your district? Why are they not living in your neighborhood? Why are they not even most times present in your city or state? Isn't that something like, when's the last time Nancy Pelosi had like put her shoes on the ground downtown San Francisco with the homeless, with people defecating in the streets? And this Obama and is when's a South last? Side community organizer. Should there be no more place where it's peace, love, and the empowerment of black people in the South Side of Chicago, especially with his boy Rahm Emanuel, given the city? Like, wouldn't you make that and pump given funds the into the city? Given. Gave him the mayor the mayor uh, spot. And he's the one also who says, never let a good crisis go to waste. Problem, reaction, solution. And, dude, it's it's just going to be an uh, insane week. And I hope nothing too crazy goes off because they want it to. This is the mousetrap. Where's your baited. friends at, dude? They're, they're all north side transplants. Every actor. Nobody lives on the south side. That's, you don't go past 34th Street Chinatown after 7, 8 o'clock at night. You just don't fuck around like that. Or you don't go west side uh after that time either bro it, but they it, haven't spoken out when they're, they're they're the biggest voices when it comes to the, every, the, what everybody the, else should do <laughs> you know why america's so fucked up every place else yeah well they're not moving in 150 fucking legit military ops into our fucking block like they're about to on yours and uh, you got to clean up your own backyard before you can tell anybody else what the fuck to do with theirs and fucking go live in Cabrini Green. Yeah, or where it used to be. Uh -huh. um, so this was, uh, you know, not interesting. It's tragic, but uh, it's a step up because this, when we talk 4D chess, is absolutely a 4D chess move. And there's some things that I watched the wearechange.org uh, Luke Aronowski piece on this. And Luke, you know, approaches things pretty level-headedly and says, could it be coincidence? Yeah, but let's look at this and what's more likely and what going and goes on with this. So this judge was going to be uh, connected to the case of Deutsche Bank uh, being prosecuted uh, for, for pretty much operating outside of the laws of banking for Epstein, which would lead to who knows Mossad money, blackmail money, you know, uh, slush fund accounts, all that kind of stuff. And uh, guy shows up in a FedEx outfit uh son lets him in a uh, college age uh, young man he's shot and killed father is uh shot the the judge the the wife is the judge she was in the basement this guy gets away and then takes his own life conveniently now all of the 
<laughs> right wing, or excuse me, you know, a democratically funded uh, websites from Washington Post and NPR. They're 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 leading with the story, the narrative. Anti-feminist suspect dead after son of federal judge killed husband wounded. So this guy was a lawyer who had actually had a case in front of this judge um, two years ago. Well, it was like a military drafted case about men only being drafted in there. Like it was like a misogyny against the Me Too movement, kind of like stick in the eye type fucking thing, right? And he lost, and it was, you know, a losing case to start with. So they're putting it on that because he's a documented anti-feminist movement and, you know, uh, part of the Man 2 movement or what have you. However, what they fail to leave out is that he's part of um, Kroll, Duff, and Phelps. Actually, Duff and Phelps um, is a firm unto itself that looks very much like uh, I would say not an advertising firm, but some type of consulting firm. Um, Duff and Phelps is a global advisor that enables clients to protect and restore and maximize value. So they look at, and they were also hired um, to like go after Rose McGowan for Weinstein, like Weinstein hired them. Like they, they're, it's a very vague thing where they, they almost do corporate espionage to help take over and, who knows what blackmail you find when you have people implanted as spies. Uh, it's it's uh, duffandphelps.com, uh, and it's not until you uh, click under services uh, in the dropdown that you get to Kroll Cyber Risk, K-R-O-L-L Cyber Risk. You can go to K-R-O-L-L.com, uh, and uh, it's a division of uh, Duff and Phelps. This lawyer worked as an agent for Kroll, uh, moving money in Russia, uh, moving big bank account stuff around. And now like these websites exist in the forefront, but I was looking at the, uh, leadership just of Kroll alone. If you look at it here, uh, and I'm not here to obviously dox people or whatnot, but if you're just to scroll through this on Kroll.com, like everybody on this leadership board looks like an agent to me. Like they just fit the profile of some type of, you know, NSA operative, CIA, you know, FBI that they went to school for it. They're Georgetown class of 92 or whatever the fuck. And here they are right in plain sight doing cyber espionage. And they worked with Deutsche Bank in the past who's directly connected to this. Also, the guy from Deutsche Bank uh, who was working with Epstein and like opened the floodgates, did over $2 billion in transactions with him uh, for Mossad and all of these outside investors, uh, also killed himself out of nowhere, you know, in, in this uh, whole scheme of things. So, and we're talking judge intimidation. Obviously, the judge is now surrounded by U.S. Marshals, along with other judges who may need to be knuckled up this week. The reality is Deutsche Bank has a, a private hit squad going around and, and knocking off the people that are in the breadcrumb trail of them being prosecuted for being a front for the Mossad, illegal banking, pet, protecting pedophile rings. We can go back to the Belgium guy who, uh, you know, stooged off that they wanted him to be part of the pedophile snuff thing. That's the long and short of it. We'll come back to it, go around the horn, whoever wants to start. If you don't mind, uh, my question here, Ben, haven't, I, I don't know, I don't want to, okay. I, I'm trying to think how to word this. <clears throat> All these guys, they're, they're, they're doing this, uh, you, you're saying they have their own hit squad. They got their these guys doing it who are you know through whatever whatever channels they're going through. Like, <laughs> haven't you known people like guys who would do this sort of shit and you'd never get caught for way less money probably than these assholes are charging? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, there this seems to be kind of an overly complicated situation, and they're going about it like completely the wrong way. 
They're in, calling in him that, an anti-feminist who had cancer, who was on a suicide mission to get to get even with that that bitch judge. So every Nancy Brown can go. She, she, he didn't get her. That son of a bitch. I'm glad yeah, he killed himself. Right, right. They, they, they're building. But up they this. don't know about Cruel Duff and Phelps as directly connects to fucking. They they don't tell that part of the story. They just tell about the guy was a lawyer and that was it. The reality is the degree of separation is the production of Deutsche Bank through this fucking front that's right out in the open dude that's what i'm saying like they're, they're doing this it seems to be they're going through a lot of trouble to to leave it out in the open and be public about all this fauci's throwing out the to first anybody, ball at fucking yankee stadium looking. fauci's throwing out the first ball at yankee stadium that's right, pretty so, but, open in the, in your fucking face ballsy isn't it but that's what i'm saying like to anybody who's looking they are going out of their way to be public about this and like just just on a smaller scale, if somebody wanted somebody gone or somebody done, there's a thousand people waiting for a payday to do it. And it doesn't have to be part of this special Mossad crew. It doesn't have to be part of this specially trained, you know, fucking SWAT team. You could send, again, you can send in some idiot, some fucking patsy to go in and go pop while this guy's at a 7 Eleven. While this guy goes gets his gas refilled on his fucking on his on his hybrid, all of these things they're going out of their way to make these things publicly seen by those who are looking for it. Oh, it's a total intimidation on all judges to not step up to the. That's what I'm saying. In the 4D chess, the bigger thing yeah. is echoed. If you think you fucking aren't untouchable, we'll kill judges if we have well, that's to. What I'm saying. I, do I don't mean to be on. like too fucking uh, too long winded about it, but that's that's my point. Like they seem to be going out of their way. To, to, to doing this so people who are aware of this are noticing going oh fuck you know people again nancy brown's not going to notice they're not going to they're not going to pick up on it the, the the women reading the wayfair articles are not going to go oh well the deutsche bank they have no idea what the fuck a deutsche bank is <laughs> fucking so, deutsche banks yeah they're, they're, <laughs> they're like a bunch of <laughs> deutsche banks <laughs> and it's the, the point is for the people who do know what that shit is going on they're the ones who are seeing this and they're the ones picking up on that message, but they seem to be going way out of their way to make this in plain sight for everybody who's aware that of what they're looking at. It's, Unless go ahead. The plot thickens. Here we go. First off, this guy's uh they try to paint him as a f- anti-feminist. Why would he kill two men? If he's an anti-feminist, yeah. why didn't he just kill her? You know what I'm saying? I think this is something that got botched. I think he went in there to take him, take her out. Didn't realize they were home or was going to take everyone out. Right. Didn't get a chance to take her out. So now they're spinning it, make it seem like, oh, because she has Epstein connections to the case, that you better watch your back. If anyone wants to bring the house, the house of cards down, there's going to be repercussions. So now they're going to try to control the narrative through fear. And obviously attacking someone's family is the number one is the ace of spades, if you will, in cards. Mob game. move 101, right? Exactly. Yes. So, exactly. you know, what's going to happen is, the, is that maybe they thought that they were going to get this guy, or maybe they thought they weren't going to be able to identify the shooter. Well, they have in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, as far as Patsy goes, they could have just used this guy because they could blackmail him. You know, and say, get the job done, or else we're going to let Or he, he goes and does the mission because he is a secret op. He is a Mossad yeah. agent, and then he comes back thinking he botched it, which he probably he did, and somebody's waiting for him at his fucking condo, and they do the fucking job on him there to make it set up as a Finish suicide. It. Yeah. And it's no coincidence that the guy who's handling all the transactions for Deutsche Bank with Epstein in the last 30 years and has moved over $2 billion also is not here with us anymore because he quote-unquote committed suicide. I mean, you can't, you can't write this. You wrote, if you wrote this in a book and someone read it, they're going to be like, this is total bullshit. There's no way. This <laughs> like, how many people connected to one person by one degree of separation died by suicide? You know what I mean? The guy left a, a family behind, wife, kids. It just, it's ridiculous. Millions it's and millions of dollars. Like, he's fucking, you know, like, there's there's nothing death to unless he... Like, the, it's his DVD connection. The only thing I is that he could do it is guilt from is, pedophilia. Yeah. That'd be about the only thing I'd put over. Go ahead, Steve. The most terrifying part of this is that everything we're talking about, the first time, like ever since Epstein, people are now making a joke that every time 
real mm -hmm. justice is about to occur or someone gets arrested or in Maxwell's case, she didn't get arrested. They, she let herself get picked up. People joke, like how long before she's dead? How long before? And then they hear about this, like, well, of course that happened. I mean, they're gonna- She's gonna kill there's, herself? <laughs> there's some deep cut, there's some deeper cognitive dissonance that we've ever dealt with, with the 9-11s, the JFK assassination, the, the, the false pretense of yellow cake with a, or anything about bringing freedom to Iraq or, you know, oh, uh, Afghanistan attacked us, so let's go invade Iraq. Any of these little disconnections now that used to be a big deal when we started like trying to find each other 20 years ago to start this show. Now it's a, become a joke. Like Nancy Brown's joking that like anybody, anybody that ever dare stands up against this, this, this absolute evil. <laughs> You're going to die. Okay. I can't wait to watch this on the news. Dude, it's a sick fucking thing. If you think about it. Well, you know, well, here's the thing though. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Well, my point is, do they think it's evil? Because it's not going to affect them. This has nothing to do with the bridge club. It has nothing to do with their kids going to school. It has nothing to do with them missing, you know, a spin class. Well, let's, so is let's, it evil to them? Let's talk about that, though. It, this year, it is affecting all that. The lies well, no, no, are affecting no, no, no. your bread. The bread and circuses, which you're going to get a little bit of your circuses back, that man, like today or tomorrow with baseball and then football, you're not getting what you're used to. You're not getting to fully enjoy it. There's always going to be the stickers on the back of the helmet with the NFL, the names on right. the back of the jerseys in the NBA. You are never allowed to have an escape from this point on. Not allowed. Masked everywhere. You're not allowed to forget or, or disconnect from the fact that life in this world is negative terrifying and you should be scared unless we tell you it's okay wait for us to give you the go am i off base with any of this you're you, you no. talking about it. they're not allowed to go to spin class because they're shutting the gyms down every other week by the way use but they, TV5. That, uh, that's the thing they're not associating covid with the government they don't associate uh, it at all dude like for us like i said we're watching, we could say, okay, hmm, that doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. Connect A, B, three. Okay, we get this. All right. The other people are not seeing that. They don't, there, there is no connection to our government with COVID except Dr. Fauci's protecting us. Yeah, anything bullshit. else, anything, no, but again, anything else you say, Dr. Fauci's been there for 30 years. He knows. What do you know? Listen, that's how they're looking at things. You're right. You're right. But that's the deal. Here's the deal. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, people who looked into questioning the narrative were labeled as quacks, conspiracy theorists, and people thought they were in the know, right? They find out a little bit of information, and all of a sudden, they're in the know. But the thing was, finding out that information was a lot harder. So the actual journey to receiving that knowledge gave you some kind of credit as a truth seeker to, to, to present your case. Now the access of information all over the world is at the, at our fingertips and anybody and anybody can make up anything anywhere, anytime and, and try to pass it for truth. And it's been done a million times, both on both sides of the spectrum. And the problem is this, all these people now who think they know, don't know shit. They're like somebody who read an autobiography or saw a shoot tape or realizes something <laughs> about the wrestling business and is considered a smart mark. And they think, that, oh, well, I know. I know Hepstein killed himself. You can't tell me nothing. I know that was bullshit. Bullshit. You don't know shit, Jack. You what? really don't know. You know You know the thin layer of sprinkles on top of the Sunday of truth. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we really don't know what's going on. As far as we go, the four of us, we have some kind of scope of what's going on behind the scenes, but we don't even really know 100% right. certain because everything is intertwined and hidden within rabbit hole, within rabbit hole, within rabbit hole to the point where it's so many rabbit holes that one rabbit hole is just dismissed as just BS. And that's done so, intentionally. My, here's the thing. I had, a, I had a conversation with my wife real quick and we talked about Project Paperclip, okay? Who years ago, couple, let's, we can go back five years ago, and people still said 
if you mention Project Paperclip, they went, you're not, you're a conspiracy theory, not. Now it's on popular shows. It's on Amazon The Hunters. That was, that is the first time my wife has ever heard of Project Paperclip because she doesn't listen to me when I say it. So <laughs> she, yeah, she watches Amazon. We saw that we watched The Hunters and she's like, oh my God, is that real? I'm like, hello. Yeah. Like started a whole big thing because I lost my shit. I was like, are you kidding me? Now you, now you believe because Al Pacino said it. What the mm. fuck? Hoo-wah. But that's the situation. <laughs> but now that's the situation. People up until a certain point, even, a, even a, let's go five years back. If you said Project Paperclip, we brought Nazis home to the U.S. to work for us, to do this, to do this. No. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's become part of pop culture. It's become a thing where they're like, oh, Project Paperclip, it happened. We have documents. <laughs> we could have put this in our show. And they're like, oh, wow, that happened? Yeah. And what Stevie so had said earlier with Max Egan in The Great Reset, that is okay. na- that is Nazi 101. That is the reinvention right. of the Third and Fourth Reich reapplied under American capitalism yep. and slave society. Uh, Stevie, where are you at right now? What's that? So where are you at right now? <laughs> where am I at right now? Yeah, yeah. Where with what part? <laughs> um, I, I, I guess we jumped into it with, I guess, to me, I don't want to gloss over the fact of, like, the way that WAPO and NPR paint this right in their headlines. The anti-feminist lawyer loses his mind because he had cancer against woman, and they don't say anything about the Kroll stuff that is that looks very... I don't even want to say CIA front because I think a lot of these things are independent operators now, like a um, Blackwater, even though they're not doing it with machine guns. Uh, what was the one uh, that was um, the Google hack that they're uh, that we that that fuck with the election? Um, oh, that was fuck. when the guy went in front of Congress. And right, the dude with the pink the hair. Thing. What was the fucking gimmick's name? I can't remember the name. Uh, the annexation of Puerto Rico. You know what I'm talking about, where they fucking juke the numbers on, on, on the Google algorithms? Yeah, the Tulsi Gabbard thing and yeah, all the other the stuff, and then the election called? as well. Uh, it was dated back a while ago. I'll say this too. Why Why is it that these things, I, I mean, I thought, like I joked about the, if the aliens landed on the White House lawn, everybody like, oh, that's cool, what's on the Kardashians? We literally have had this year people – get their bread and circuses taken away. Everything they find pleasurable, they had taken away. Cambridge you sound, Analytica. You sound Cambridge like Analytica. Such a gruff Archie Bunker motherfucker. Mm. Every sip you take, Sal, you're like, oh god. Wait a minute. Did that, I was I was I've been muting this. I've been trying no, to mute no, this. No, no, no you haven't been muting a goddamn thing. I'm gonna get I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get thirty Guys, I'm, I'm gonna sorry. get thirty five messages. Who is slurping and burping? I apologize. And... I'm sorry. I've been right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I've been muting Every time I I, I burp, oh, I'm You're I, mean, that every, I think that's the make it louder button. My apolo- I, I apologize, <laughs> guys. Sure. I am so sorry. I am no, so, I'm not, so sorry. No, I love it because you, <laughs> every time you take a sip, it's like a little bit of like a rainforest burns down. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Like it's hopeless. <laughs> Oh, I'm it's sorry. good stuff. I, I thought I, I thought I'm doing. I'm like I'm being professional. I'm gonna mute it if I if I'm gonna burp. But I, my apologies, guys. <laughs> no, we, got, we, got we got Archie Bunky, at Archie Bunker ass motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I've never been. Stevie Richards mm-hmm. called me a fucking motherfucker. Arch Bunk, uh, Cambridge Analytica. There you go. At least I sparked that. Yeah, dude, my brain was fucking hurting there for a minute, dude. I had muffle sparks going crazy. <laughs> but uh, fucking, this this feels very much to me when people have uh, job titles of uh, cyber risk uh, management, diligence leader, things like that. Like your job title is diligence leader. What the fuck does that even mean, dude? And and what you're trying to do? It's when you take Ty Dillinger to catering. Oh, okay. Um, like <laughs> there's just so much here as I, I went through the R team, uh, you can go to Duff which seems to be the bigger overview one, but K R O L L.com. I don't well, know. How man. about, Something how about strange. the other, the other, the other agency black cube, <clears throat> what is black cube is a reference to Saturnalia. How come is all this stuff always tied to Saturnalia, black cubes, Satanism, all this nonsense of the occult. Come on, man. You can't make this shit up. It's all one yeah. degree of separation. 
You know, it's ridiculous. And then we have we have Dr. Fauci, all the videos coming out that we've done seen about 2017 where he's stating, oh, Trump's definitely going to have an unknown virus during his presidency. Like he's throwing it in our face that he knew something or other. Now, here's another deal, right? 18 months for vaccine. If they knew about this in 2017, maybe they do have a vaccine. Maybe they're holding back on that so this shit can get worse behind the election, which kind of plays into the hot mic at the uh, in, in Washington when they're saying, oh, we're all vaccinated here already. And everyone just dismissed it like, oh, they were just yelling. It was right. nothing. It's banter. But And then you have... Uh, Rick Flair. You, you have Rick Flair riding around at Starbucks with no mask on. Well, dude, come on. He's in his own car. <laughs> God, yeah, people making a big deal about it. Uh, his what, wife's got it. With the mask on? Well, his wife's what got it. Space ball? What do you think? It's baseball? <laughs> <You know? laughs> But and then you have uh, Twitter banning everything with QAnon. What's Dude, up with that? I go. I, I just went on the careers thing at Duff's and Phelps right away. First pop up is allow cookies, and then careers at Duff's and Phelps. Dot job wants to know your location. Allow or block? They have a, they have an opening now right after the FedEx driver deal. Right? <laughs> one job opening. Uh, delivery, hey, Mark, I want to say Fauci two things. By the way, he just came out and he says this virus will never be eradicated. You mean like the flu and everything else? He put up the thing of exactly what the flu does. It is uh, the, for the people that are really susceptible, especially the elderly, once in a while, a young, healthy person gets it and can't survive. Isn't that exactly what influenza and all the other viruses or anything that most people get? I mean, God forbid, we don't want anybody to die, but that's that's exactly what the flu does. The other thing is oh jeez I forgot I got to see <laughs> but here's the deal bro 99% recovery rate we're hiding underneath our chairs our tables our desks as the alarms are going off like it's a fucking bomb raid for a disease that you can bounce back at mm -hmm. at a two and three quarters but before the referee drops his hand for the one count a 99% recovery rate and granted it does affect the elderly we're not saying the disease is not real it does affect people with pre-existing conditions, severe pre-existing pre right. conditions. But then where's the uh, where's the, uh, the the penance for Cuomo forcing all these people back into the nursing homes who were uh, infected with COVID just so he can meet his numbers, right? Just to re like these tough yep. cops, you got to write enough tickets this week to meet your quota. Well, look what else is going on. 60,000 deaths statistic-wise last year, influenza. How many? Was, yeah, there you go. How Thank many you. people died of influenza this year? Goose said. Thank you. Zero. We, we Thank cured you. the flu. We cured the flu, guys. You guys didn't hear it? We got Shit. him. Shit. Fuck. Fucking got him. It's all chalked up to COVID. You're welcome. Why? Because there's, there's, there's a predetermined uh, agenda behind all this, man. We're the number. We're the same country that back during uh, the first Cold War with Russia, that when the nuclear bomb was supposed to drop, the we cure. are trained to hide under a wooden under desk. A desk. Duck yep. and cover. Duck yep. and cover. Now it went from a, a flu or a virus <sighs> that didn't cause any kind of intestinal or stomach flu or diarrhea or anything, and people went nuts for toilet paper. Now yep. it's literally a joke in a way where it's happened to me. A healthy person walking anywhere, even outside, encounters <laughs> the thing I send you guys. Somebody that like the width of like 14 aisles in the, in the shopping market or whatever supermarket, the widest person on the little scooter. Why you gotta be mean? With a mask on. What's that? Hmm. Why you gonna make fun of me? What's that about? I don't see you. I didn't know you were you're an Archie you Bunker a motherfucker. That's no, I'm Archie I'm Bunky motherfucker. So now fuck me. Huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. Archie Bunker scooter wearing motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> How about that? Scooter wear. <laughs> scooter wear. Yeah. Wow. So, but these people are literally yelling at healthy people. Yes. That that you are putting my health at risk as they have a cigarette in the fucking right. Diet Pepsi and an oxygen tank. Right. Yeah. I you're get putting it. their health at risk. <laughs> Listen. You need a hey, boogeyman. Code you gotta, you gotta, you gotta build your baby faces off your heels, brother. And this is exactly what's going on. Nothing new. That's exactly it. Nothing different. Same game plan. It used to be the Russians. Then it was the uh, North the, Koreans. The people from the Middle East. Yeah, and then it right? was our guys. Yep. Now, now, now it's now it's the it's the it's the cops because they want the UN. 
now it's also to come in and police. Now it's also the virus because if God forbid you speak out against it or you you just stand your ground, you're you're looked out like you're you, like you are the one who has syphilis. It's against the American dollar. We got it. No more cash at some places. Chain shortage. GGP. Right. Like uh, definitely. And then and now now <coughs> attention to the building with the Chinese. We, and, we we just shut down the consulate down in, in Houston and we're in only Houston, spent 72 and hours. I got to put yeah. this over too Sal uh we'll we'll appreciate this one China forces Christians to renounce faith destroy Christian symbols or be cut off from welfare report says the Chinese <laughs> Communist Party CCP is reportedly forcing people of faith to renounce their beliefs and replace religious symbols and imagery and portraits of chairman Mao and president uh Xi Jinping uh, the reports uh, come from Bitter Winter, a publication that the U.S. Department of State has cited in official reports described as an online magazine of religious liberty and human rights in China. So obviously a propaganda front uh, there from the U.S. Uh, a few months ago, communist officials in Linfin reportedly called officials from all the local towns and villages under governments for a meeting. The participants were ordered to remove crosses, religious symbols, and images from homes of people of faith who receive social welfare payments and replace them with portraits of Chairman Mao and President Xi Jinping. A uh, bitter winner reported Tuesday, the officials were instructed to uh, annul the subsidies to those who protest the order. A member of the church there told publication that the communist officials tore down the religious writings and the calendar of Jesus in his home and replaced it with an image of Mao Zedong, the most murderous dictator in world history. The communist officials reportedly told the person... Quote, oh, God. impoverished households can't receive money from the state for nothing. They must obey the Communist Party for the money they receive. Quote, a preacher from a household church received a visit from local officials in May, Bitter Winter claimed. They removed a cross and image of Jesus from the home and reports and also put up another Mao Zedong picture. Um, so, Will you ever be? Yeah, uh, a lot of people. Um, but obviously, you know, is Christianity... Even in Eastern philosophy and like, is it already, you know, more appropriation and, and exactly what we did to slaves to start with. And they're using Christianity as a way to get in who knows how many spies as we shut down, as GGP just said today in Houston, uh, their consulate for claiming spying. We can go back to the COVID outbreak where Wuhan, Fauci and all of them are invested in in this shit. And, and Stevie said the thing where Fauci released a paper in 2017 that said Trump is going to have to deal with what comes with an outbreak. So why or is this surprise, guy, yeah, surprise, surprise outbreak. outbreak? Dude, uh, this shit has been on the table. 9-11 was concocted in the late 60s and 70s, and they tried to get things ready. It's been put out there. These great resets, Agenda 21, the Georgia Guidestones, it's all the same fucking click putting their plan in motion at this time. Stevie. Absolutely. <clears throat> I need a Stevie, halls. do you make those kids take down the, the crosses in the basement? <laughs> no, I make them take down the, the Chinese leaders and put up a picture of Jesus. I do the opposite. You do the other. You fuck, that's just to fuck with their heads. One day it's Mao, one day it's Jesus. One day it's Mao. Um, yeah. oh, I was going to have them make the mask, but my, my floor is not dirty enough. Before it ships out. Mm -hmm. Ah, ha, ha. you mm -hmm. saw that too, huh? That's all right. Yeah, no, by the way, if they have nothing to hide, why are they burning things? And they exactly. Have the, the video of the the actual fit, like they not like not like guy. You know, these are the over the over guys burning, and not the under guys. They're burning in the over offices. You know, yeah. where actual officials from the consulate, yep. diplomatic officials that are burning <laughs> this stuff, which means it's funny that they were doing it before the order even came down. So who stooge them off? So let them do that. Carol why would you give them 72 hours, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I mean, it, it's to shake people up and probably no, I mean, out give them. them time to burn all that stuff. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. Because well, maybe you know, that's why you have a sun observatory and you run in there with Black Hawk helicopters you for child it. pornography, but a consulate. Of right. 72, 72 hours. hours. Out of here, man. Right, because maybe they had the shit that would say, "Okay, well, this finger is gonna, this little finger is gonna point at this guy, and this little finger is gonna point at this guy." You guys have seventy-two hours to get out of here. Don't make me come back in seventy-two hours, because if I have to come back, then I'm gonna fucking hike my pants up and put put the gun in my put the bullet in my gun. 
And I'm going to be back here to pick up this gas can full of, full of gasoline. Yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm I don't trust this here. you with this. <laughs> so, you know, guys, don't break this. This is a trust thing right now. We're letting you in here. Don't make me regret it. And Hold on. Uh, goes, one thing Snope said, the Fauci it. thing, uh, the warning oh, is fake, Snope guys. So, so Snope said it. Oh, well, that's fair. So, well, so hey, I've look. heard him say it. How's it fake? Yeah. I heard him literally say it. I've seen the video. What are we talking about? It's fake. Come on now. Come on. Snopes, Snopes, Snopes said so. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I take my I can't retract that statement. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, don't get crazy. Now, what if this what if this has nothing to do with government and they, they just took those crosses down because they want vampires to get into the people's house? That could be it too. Nobody has looked at the vampire. Nobody's angle. ever thought about the vampire no. angle. Always could thinking, be. guys. Chinese vampires. They're all hopping. Oh, Snope says it's true. Snope says it's true. So this definitely fair. it's fair def enough. Definitely fake then. Snope says it's true. It means he said some really bad shit. <laughs> and, uh, like, hey, we said it's true. Don't look any further. Yeah. Hey, there's a video, but we can't so, scrub it. Fuck. So, so what's going to be called? Oh, lost boys. <laughs> Dude, and the guy's throwing out the first pitch. And how many Nancy Browns know that that story from 2017 came out? They just think this guy's a hero out of nowhere. They never heard of him before. 30 he's... years. 30 years he's had. Well, 30 years. That... What? What have you done 30 years? Well, this is the guy, too, with, with, the, with the AIDS uh, cure, the AIDS medicine, right? Right. That yep. was the woman who had spoke out in the 80s about they, she worked with Fauci in the 80s when he and another one suppressed that type of uh, progress on the AIDS cure, right? Mm -hmm. And also, also, he was asked to be on the board of directors for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, coincidentally, I mean, uh, weirdly, we and on top of that, you know, Bill Gates also has a very big uh, uh, track record hanging out with Epstein. So, hey, I mean, look, all this is just happens. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. I just want to let me let me just I want to give the uh, the fucking Mark side of the Epstein shit. Everybody and their mother has a picture with Epstein. Every motherfucker has a picture with Epstein. This was his business. Yeah, but he was on the flight yeah. logs that he went to the island. No, no, no. I, I know. I know. But every person in fucking Hollywood has a picture with Epstein. Can I ask you a question? What's the over under that a picture of you, Gwiz, and fucking Mama Luke with Epstein? I thought you were going to bury That's me with... That's not important. You're thought... fucking clouding the facts. No, like I thought I was going to get buried with Andy Let's Dick on that dive one. on this. <clears throat> The, every every person in Hollywood, every celebrity, every political figure has a picture palling out with Jeffrey Epstein at his fucking house, at his on his fucking ski do, at a ski lodge. There's some picture with every. This was this guy's fucking job to make sure he was seen with everybody, because he knew this was gonna fucking he. This was all gonna come out, and if anybody wanted to burn him, he'd go, "Hey, remember when we all hung out?" And it would just, and that's all you need. That's all you need to do right now. You can watch the Jeffrey Epstein thing on Netflix, and he's got pictures with every motherfucker on the planet. That's not Jeffrey Epstein. That's AOC, and oh. it that's looks like uh, that's if uh, Hawking let himself go. <laughs> I think he did let himself like, go. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks that looks like uh, job opening there too. Yep. Uh, he was also on the island too. Well, mm -hmm. I mean. If there's anybody, I'm going to give a pass. Which one of us called him that name? <coughs> you? What, Mud Puddle in a chair? <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> it might have been me. Oh, man. Listen, bro. This, is, this world is burning, bro. We need some marshmallows. We need to make some s'mores. We're telling the people what's going on, and yet no one's listening, bro. Nobody's listening. We have politicians on TV lying to us, getting caught in lies. We have CNA, CNN getting caught lying about stories and they don't care people are still taking them at face value as news they're not the fucking news there's no such thing as the news anymore bro the news is jaded it's grizzled it's it's, it's skewed just like the numbers of covid how many lab results people get lab results that they have covid they never even took the test what the hell is going on i mean come on you can't make this shit up so what is it what is it really you tell me what's going on what is that what is what the is purpose it? of that? It's part of a psyop, right? Absolutely. So, to, well, it's fear. To fear go longer. right back what you said, for and, and it goes right into the Max Egan uh, Great Reset uh, video Stevie sent. It's the fear and paranoia 
the to tear us apart at the seams and everybody. I saw one of my Chicago friends post saying that they're giving their kid 50 cents every time they see somebody without a mask on to go, Mommy, why isn't that person wearing a mask? To fucking guilt them into fucking doing it. It's a fun way if you give your kid an allowance to get some social fucking, you know, uh, work done that way. So to use the use your child to guilt people into like, oh, what if I have COVID and I am killing that co- that kid? That's not gonna work. Sorry, guy. <laughs> the new, that's the new 2020 throwing in the well. So not only are you paying people to pay snitches, <clears throat> you, you you're paying your kid to be a, a stooge. Come on, man. Get out of here. What's wrong with that's you people some, out that's there? some Hitler youth shit right there. That's, oh, yeah, that's completely Hitler youth shit. But but these are very left wing Democrats. Who want to fucking... There's no such thing as left-wing Democrats anymore. It's the socialist parties, bro. They, the, the, the mask is off. They don't eat past midnight. They went from Mogwais to Gremlins. But they the only reason their- my friends are like that is because deep down, <laughs> they all want to be on Saturday Night Live. Exactly. And they right. know that they have to go that hard. And in and, and their dreams of being at... Saturday Night Live is not hiring anybody over 26, 27 years old anyway. And right. some of these people are in their 40s, pushing to 50. Right. Exactly. But they're so in the wrestling bubble, in the comedy bubble, that they just are like, this is what we have to do. Nobody stands in our way. We're the leaders. We're the voice. Like, because they know they're not getting Saturday Night Live and because Saturday Night Live has weaponized all this bullshit, that's, that is where their fucking heads are at in this hey, Chicago Hey, bro, how about thing. this, bro? Let's, let's connect the dots here, right? Alec Baldwin came out, right? Got caught on tape, you know, reaming his, his daughter verbally. Little right? piggy, little piggy. Uh, getting back, and so what does he do? He goes on Saturday Night Live, he imitates Trump, so he's back in everybody loves good graces. Everyone's in good graces. Everyone forgot about that, right? The left uh-huh. eat their own, bro. The left will eat their own. Yep. They are right now. I know they are. They are. <laughs> and you know what? The right are not any better either, bro. No. The right are definitely not any better. But this well, is I love that brilliant piece. I don't know who sent it. The comedy piece with the woke dude and the racist dude having the almost the exact Similar. same. Yep. Like that's good comedy, man. Like that's punching both sides very strong in, for their ignorance in one scene. And Saturday Night not Live can't get close to that. Not since that country rap song, rap, where the rap, black guy was oh. rapping to the white guy and the white guy was rapping yes, to the black yes, guy. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. And that was the last time everybody was together. That was the last time everybody said. You know what? We are all on the same side, but then everybody bitched about it anyway. This is the same thing. They're all well, going to look, watch that, and go, "Oh, what?" I got to disagree with you on that. What do you mean? The last time people were together was around Memorial Day when they all got tired of being in their fucking houses. Oh, and wow. fucking George Floyd went down to fucking separate everybody again. All right. All That's right. My, I'm yeah. just saying, but you, but you have a valid I point. Get- you do have a valid point. That's but when that's that just, well no that's when everybody everybody didn't want to argue everybody said oh this is great this is one of the best videos ever made and then people came out and they found all the little flaws in it which is exactly what'll happen they'll say this and they'll see they go oh that's a funny little funny piece but then they'll start everybody'll start shitting on it again and it won't matter but it makes a hundred percent sense of course well look so the mo- look there's a saying right we know the saying. You guys who are atheists may not know the saying. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Right? Never heard of it before. What's that mean? Of course not. So here's the deal. The majority, I would say close to 75 to 80% of all these people who are pointing fingers and blaming people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me. I'm sorry. Time to fuck out. Did Job say that in the Bible? Was he like fucking glass houses in the desert? Hmm. Oh, but yeah, there was a story in the Bible about stoning a whore. And him without sin, you know, throw the first stone. You, know you got to pay extra for that shit, brother. I know. You know? Spit in my mouth. Anyhow. Mm. <laughs> Anyhow. If, that, if that's what you want, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll spit in your mouth, Stevie. <laughs> Call me danger. Anyway, mm. so uh, <laughs> what I was saying was 75 to 80% of the people who are pointing fingers and blame and just – trying to belittle people verbally through social media or videos, whatever the case may be, all have skeletons in their closets. And the reason why they're pointing fingers at somebody and trying to shame people is because they're protecting themselves from getting shamed themselves. And that is the stereotypical aspect of the liberal, progressive, quote-unquote, left. 
because all of them are right there to call people names right away. Like all these Black Life Lives uh, Matter leaders who are now getting busted for child trafficking and child pornography. And then Black Lives Matter, if you deep dive into where the money goes, it's all going into the DNC party, Hillary Clinton, um, Soros. Bernie Sanders, Soros, you know, Tide, and uh, what is it, uh, Blue Active or whatever the name is. All are. those you named are my favorite black people. Thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, look, what's his name? Lord Tariq from Brand Nubian said it best. Black Lives Matter, the premise of what they're doing, look, man, the country was built on protest. Great. But here's the deal. It's a situation that they want to control. A situation right. they can't control, like like the Black Panther Party, certain activist parties, right? They shut down and vilify them right away because it's not controlled by the elite. It's not controlled by the man. You know what I mean? This is something that's controlled, contained, and orchestrated to keep people separated, whether it's police brutality. Now they want to defund the police. Go ahead, you defund the police, and then you had everyone shot up that. What are you going to do? Then you have freaking uh, de Blasio taking away uh, plainclothes cops and defund the police by a billion dollars. You know, someone did something great. He's over there p- putting Black Lives Matter on the street. Someone did a mural in front of Planned Parenthood saying Baby Lives Matter. Great. It's true. And then how the Planned plan- plan Parenthood is getting a majority of Black Lives Matter. The reality is... Set- the reality is to Planet X, none of your fucking lives matter. Not even black, white, oh, baby, any of that shit. Planet <laughs> X is an equal opportunity fucking ass kicker. Can't wait till I'm 80 years old doing this show. Saying, <laughs> you want, Guys, it's coming. It's, year, it's coming. I swear, it's this year. Listen, go. Fucking, listen. Just get the, get the goddamn listen. whatever. Uh, what's the fucking show? And get, 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 uh, tell us what's coming up on that riveting episode. Where they find On Oak a, Island, they found more coconut Island. fiber. No, listen. listen. They, find the the pile of, yeah, they find a pile of crosses in, on the island from China. <laughs> yeah, that's what, all the all the Chinese crosses. Wow. Are oh, I see that. I, there. Okay, so the fact that you guys are mocking Nibiru is is awful. They're hot why? that China got fucked over from Christianity. That's why. Right. Well, because you know, not for nothing, Nibiru and all that shit that makes what all of you religious guys it gives validity to your fairy tale so i would i would back that shit 40 days and 40 nights that's the only reason i would believe it is because of a uh, polar shift and, and, a, and a massive weather change in pattern that way and one Listen, thing actually many- while we're there because i want to you know get away from current events we've talked about the uh uh, going into the uh, Grand Canyon Egyptian thing, but you sent uh, a pretty cool story. Obviously, it triggers ancient man, giants, all that kind of stuff. We like that. Uh, was it New Mexico? They the, found uh, uh, artifacts, stone carving, axes, and whatnot. Uh, Thirty thousand years ago, man. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. Ahead, go ahead with that. Yeah. No, that, 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 that's the thing. We all, as far as the experts, Doctor Fauci, those guys are experts. Thirty years in the business. These scientists who that's that they've done that their whole life. Nobody fucking listens to them when they say shit because they all go, well, what do they know? They're all trying to get this. You know, there's no such thing as dinosaurs. All right. So uh, these guys, everybody said 15,000 years. Humans have been around for 15,000 years. <laughs> Take it easy, Raptor. 15,000 years. These people, have been, <laughs> they've been around on, in, in the United States. It, now they're finding shit that are saying 30,000 years. Well, who's doing the carbon dating? Scientists. Well, how do they know? How do we know they're doing the proper carbon dating? They're scientists, just like Mr. Fauci. So, uh, that's that's the thing. Now they're they're coming out with they're finding tools. They're finding. So all we're kinds talking of thirty thousand years. They said that's before the last ice age that would have yes. wiped out whatever there. So even yes. pre ice age, man, that now I'm I'm hoping to find. Hear more about giants possibly there as well. You know anything? Well, now did you see giants? that thing? Well, did well? Did you see that thing I sent you guys on the debunking? The top eight, yeah, the I debunking. It. Now, here's the thing: that fucking smug UK prick, that limey cunt, was like, "Well, this this came from here. Brent this Logan? is a Photoshop contest." Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, Brent Logan's a different kind of cunt. Mm-hmm. Um, they're saying that the way they did it, it would have been easier to follow up, but he kept he gave no sources, and all he said was. Oh, and then we found out that this was fake. He said, Ben, Ben, my brother, I fucking love you. 
I love the fucking gonna, conspiracy horsemen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna fucking get a shirt and I'm gonna get Big Sal's shirt and big I'm gonna sale. get a pop it on. Oh, I thought, I thought he said y'all are, y'all are Ben. You, <laughs> you fat <laughs> fucking <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Yeah. That's a different. That's that's the guy from that's the UK. Yeah, that's the other cunt. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other cunt. Yeah. But when you get when you get the voice thousand message, years you're eating donuts, you fat. <laughs> you cult, right. you <laughs> culture you <laughs> Fucking culture vulture. When you get the other messages from fucking Brent Logan at three in the morning. Yeah, that's a big different. sale. Big sale. Oh, I love fucking love the horsemen. <laughs> fucking horsemen are great. I can't wait. To get, I can't wait to get fucking Stevie's t-shirt and your t-shirt. I was, so <laughs> was a t-shirt. I was, I was hanging. Ah, oh, sweet, a fucking hot girl. You gotta see it. Oh my god. And then Bill, she's fucking hot as fuck. Hey Ben. Adam's um, apple's only yeah, twice I'm the size of mine. Drunk as I was last time I sent you this kind of fucking message. But now, nah, dude, like, yeah, my missus and I, yeah, uh -huh. definitely break up. But um, what I want to tell you was, I showed uh, one of your promos. <laughs> to uh, uh, my mate's uh, missus and she's like I really want to watch this guy wrestle now what a fucking mistake that would be for her that would fucking yeah, ruin it fuck. all why, why, why fucking ruin the image of me being good at something um, yeah man so, yeah, so all, all of the people who escaped from their king to make their own lives you got and the ones who didn't escape that's you motherfuckers in the UK you guys who stayed there you guys who sat with King George and fucking let him just piss all over you. The you guys who call up and that. you got you do pay extra for that. A lot of the Asian fellas do. Um, so all the guys in the UK seem to have this thing where they love debunking American bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> they, I'm just I'm just saying, but they love they love to take away our fucking the things we enjoy. So he. That guy had to sit there and make a top eight list of all the shit that we have put some fucking stock into, and he wanted to debunk it. And some of the debunking, they there are facts involved. Other ones, they just kind of fucking write off, and they kind of bend over backwards mm. to dismiss. So you know, of course, Nessie, we go into that. They go into they go into a lot of the shit, but some of it is just kind of hand waved but away. But then after he like, fucks ah, off with a Nessie thing, he's bunk. like. Then, but it's really the wake from this ship that puts out the exact wake to make it look like Nessie. But then he right. don't have the video of that going down. No. He just fucking says or, it. Or any websites. Nothing. He's like, this website proved that it was debunked. And you're like, okay, no, great. Yeah, snow sure. me. Snow yes, me, bro. Is. So I guess, I, I guess it is. Oh, so, man. Uh, the again, one thing but that they, I wanted they to... Also, Giants was one of them. That's why I brought it up. The fact that Giants was yeah. one of them. And they said it was from a bullshit... Uh, Photoshop website where they asked to, to show it a, a, a archaeological dig, a fake one for us, mm -hmm. and they made what about the giant the one. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I say, what about the dude who found the footprint of the giant into the, the <coughs> tablet on, on the? On oh, the he didn't. Of the wall. He didn't address that, did he? No, nothing. No, like of course no. not. No. You know what I'm saying? No. I mean, what about all these the, stairs? Remember, we see that picture of the person standing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are these yeah, stairs man. built for? Like. You got a point. Look at, I was watching uh, on um, National Geographic on Disney Plus. They did a, a documentary on uh, that city. Was it uh, Punta, uh, Punta Cana? Punta Cana. No, not Punta Cana. The other thing, the fucking thing ancient aliens always talk about in uh, the one in the, the, the city of the Incan city that, that wasn't killed by the Spaniards. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, now Willy Wonka, whatever the fuck it's called. Cambridge uh, Analytica. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I can't put that something. I don't know. Anyhow, Punta, Punta Gordo. That's what yeah, it was. There it is. But uh, if anyone's still in the chat, let us know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they did. For you, dumbass. The reason why you're not in WWE or any major wrestling promotion is because you're a mark for the business and a mark for yourself. Yeah, la, you piece of shit. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that one was for all of us. That's why we're not in WWE, guys. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, just the fact that these people were able to build something like that with the stones, right? They're, and they try, to, they try to legitimize how they built their city with all these big stones, how they right. put spikes in between, they broke them in half, and then placed them, and then right. sanded it. But how the fuck do you get the stones up the mountain? These stones are heavy. They never explained that. And for what purpose? If you can't just walk up the goddamn steps, you got to go out and around just for the fuck of it all. Like, 
There's something and isn't much it bigger. called? Isn't it actually called like the Giants? There's a there's a Mexican name or some sort of uh, Aligante. <laughs> the other the other thing aside from uh you know obviously whenever the shoot story of when man was in the americas uh and that uh also you know if it were talking thirty thousand years before we're we can we can go back machu picchu machu picchu yeah um you know you why would there be egyptian artifacts in the goddamn from grand canyon now we're talking civilizations and rewriting that whole history the travel of it all and i, I want to get back to some of those things i'm I, not that we don't need to keep the light on hillary clinton and pizzagate and all that shit but that's what we also love too man that escapism into but what our weren't origins they talking are. about templar there was templar shit in there too weren't they yes in the grand canyon and then also in new mexico they found more shit they found the templar sword down in that well Mm -hmm. like down it was down in some cavern and it was like there's no reason for a templar to be over here is something so, going on in the chat i'm missing everybody's popping or no so no i don't think so okay just, stevie, uh, stevie uh, just got our season coming up there. stevie was that for your, Canada, your to the grand canyon <laughs> there we go from the window to the wall um alien that, gold in the desert here yeah. we go what was that the thing you just sent to the chat was that for your where you live? No, no, no. That no. I was uh, somebody in that Deep Thoughts radio group. But yeah, I oh. wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't doubt that this is going to be something that's up in uh, the Northeast, especially New York and Philly. <laughs> Saying that, uh, basically, what I sent to the Horseman chat was that it seems like an apartment complex or some kind of multi, you know, family housing or whatever is requiring the residents to get tested for COVID. Wow. So, so here's the deal. Well, with maybe it's resell value. Ventura County, California. So here's I the reason. Here's the, here's the deal, right? All week, last couple of weeks, people have been saying online that they've been sending in swabs with saline, getting back test positive results, COVID. Just saline water. That's it. All the people getting calls that they got COVID, but they never took the test. So all these weird things are happening. So now you got a question: If there's one percent of Cosby math here of skepticism or error then there's a lot it has to be a lot greater so how do we know that with the test that we're taking actually is giving us a reputable uh, outcome back and how do we know uh, that getting tested for antibodies is reputable as well we don't know that's the deal we don't know because this is all brand new and unfortunately when there's something new going down People are going to get sick. Some people are going to die until our bodies adapt to it. It happened to every disease outbreak that ever occurred. This is not anything new. This is the way the world works. Granted, the last couple of times that this happened with freaking, uh, you know, all these other things that came from Zika, from Zika, Zika? And all, yeah, all this other stuff didn't hit here. We were able to prevent it. This time, guess what? We weren't able to. We can't but stop it did everything hit here. That was the point. Remember when they were driving around with the trucks? with the, They were spraying the fucking gas. Somerset, New Jersey. They were driving around with gigantic trucks. Uh, well, Okay, the trucks weren't gigantic. The big machines on the back that were pumping the smoke out. That's China. That happened. No, that was Somerset, New Jersey, <clears throat> dude. Really? Oh, I'm not even fucking with you. They were guys where they were saying to you, listen, uh, Plainfield, South Plainfield, where Chuck lives. Uh, they were saying that shit. Close your windows between the hours of this and this on, on Thursday or Friday. And they gave you specifics. Everybody lived in apartments. They gave, they put the hang up right on the front door that said, be, you know, make sure your windows are closed. Turn off your AC because we're going to be pumping. And they, and they drove through with loudspeakers and they did the whole bit where they were like, okay, everybody, you know, we're, we're doing uh, anti mosquito. And it was all under. Um, there's actually, actually, hang on, Edison, New Jersey. There is a building. There is a building in Edison, New Jersey by Metro Park that is for the wildlife and mosquito, I think it's mosquito control department of, of, of like uh, parks and, and recreation. But it was a, a fucking whole building with a giant mosquito on the front with a, a big picture of the mosquito on the front. And it's in Edison, New Jersey. And they did that too. They 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 drove around and they fucking pumped out the, the gas that was controlling the mosquito population. It was keeping it wasn't killing them, it was making them sterile so they couldn't reproduce because we had Zika 
And uh, then it went to, then they did it again with, um, I want to say the Nile, West Nile. So that was, it wasn't in China. That was in New Jersey. Yep. Then they were chemtrailing yesterday just to break the heat overnight. Dude, all low level gray clouds, silver underbelly, 85 degrees. It was supposed to be 95. They broke it and it was just like a blanket of uh, clouds in between the sun. Not nothing high level where they would normally be all very low, low, low shit. They're poisoning us right in front of us, guys. Whether it's, uh, there's fluoride in the water or, uh, you know, whatever it is in the skies. Yeah. Or whatever it's going to be for the vaccine for COVID. You know, the, it just doesn't add up. There's even going to be black market things, Stevie. As soon as you, or as soon as you guys said about all the, the building's going to have people tested, you know, and then maybe whatever is your aunt, that's going to open up a new false documents black market for people who do not want to abide by the government system. Now we're talking about GGP. We went back to it. Han Solo checkpoints, have your fucking pass. Like you, you like Nazi Germany. Let me see your papers. Yeah. And you're going to have to have fake ones, dude, except it's going to be a digital chip implanted in your fucking head that they scan with a barcode and download i just sent another video the andrew cuomo the guy who's like putting the fear of god in everybody Cock around the sucker. country talking about this thing he's hugging a guy while not wearing a mask to one of the mayors who's wearing he's wearing a mask but cuomo is not wearing a mask hugs him two to three times touching him hand to hand dude they can't keep their fucking story this is where this is where if we started a consulting company to have these people be the proper workers they they can't work no they can't Dude, even they can't uh, commercial even stick to the storyline commercial on iHeartRadio uh for biden is that they have two people uh they sound elderly and i think they're supposed to sound elderly they sound elderly and are blaming trump the words the exact words if trump would have acted earlier we could have probably stopped half of the deaths from covid holy shit it's for Joe Biden commercial. Did you? We need somebody to lead by example. Joe oh, Biden yeah. is that man. And then they skip that. That has nothing to do with the rest of the, the rest of this minute commercial where they're talking about how Trump is cutting senior citizens' health care. So they started off with he's killing senior citizens. If he would have acted earlier, half of us wouldn't have died. The next half of the commercial is about him cutting senior citizens health care so now we need somebody who understands us joe biden is that man and that is a commercial you Listen, don't you don't get to hear any of that then cuomo stood up and said hey that's my spot how dare you <laughs> killing some <laughs> senior citizens you. and then right and then, and then when it's when when trump did close the borders people were complaining that he closed the borders too soon now they're yep. saying it's not soon enough this guy can't yep. fucking win it's ridiculous nope. it's ridiculous he Steve, was doing a great it's... job as president economy was well Jobs were here. Unemployment was down. The dollar was rallying in the markets against other other currencies. They tried to stick him with all these stupid allegations. It didn't stick. The guy was like Teflon Don, like the John Gotti of freaking politicians. And what happened? They decided to bankrupt the country. Not bankrupt the country, but shut down the country. And, and all these small businesses are all going out of, out of business, all these mom and pop shops. But guess what? The Jeff Bezos, the Waltons, all these, the, the Walmarts, all the, the Targets, all these places, the Home Depots, they're open. Thriving. Well, Cuomo, the thing, I'm yeah. sorry, Cuomo can't, won't even open the goddamn gyms. I heard yesterday we, they might open not open the gyms in New York till 2021. Well, Cuomo, even, he, they, even more lunacy, you can go to the bar, but you can't order alcohol unless you order food with the alcohol per COVID laws. Mm. So if you. So now here's my question. It's not even laws, they're orders. orders. They're not laws. laws. Yeah, yeah, orders. It's like a mask. The mask so here's the, here's the question. So now you got to order food with that. So are you going to eat through your mask or do you have to take your mask down? You got to take your mask down. You, you, all these they have signs. That? Keep keep your mask on until you're seated. So that that 14 step right. walk to your your the virus is saying that's that, a table. I can't get I near can't that. Get near that. Yeah. yeah. If they were just drinking alcohol, I'm infecting them. They they have alcohol and wings. Fuck it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm. Well, those here. are the, the that's the this is the same disease that is the same virus that goes. Oh, they're protesting for their rights. No, no, everybody, back up, back up. Oh wait, those people are just out having fun. Fuck them. Let's get them. Mm-hmm. Same guy. That's the same virus. So we're but, good. But here's the thing. Looking at it from. Uh, if we 
did this whole thing with the economy right now, right now it's going, it was going well or whatever, but it was a bubble that was going to burst. You're talking about housing prices. You're talking about, right. we're living in a very uh, dangerous, like redlined, you know, version of consumerism. We have to consume. We don't create anything. We just have to spend, 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 shop, 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 backyard Hollywood here in Atlanta and everywhere else. We have to just keep up with the Joneses buy the houses that are unfurnished, but it looks good on the outside, lease the BMW. I'm just saying, these things, the, these social constructs of how we need to live our lives was about to come due. Any, it could have been any day now before the coronavirus. It could have been in 2021 or whatever it might be. The problem was, for them, how do we not get blamed for this? Because eventually the people would have turned on them. This whole virus thing could have been, hey, it could have been more of a lie hop. Let it happen on purpose. Never let a good crisis go to waste. The coronavirus is what tanked the economy. So we do it first with the coronavirus without it just completely going into hyperinflation and all these other things, people losing their houses. Now they're losing their houses because of the virus, not because of the politicians. This is what Max Egan's talking about in that great reset video. Now they can blame Trump and a virus and they get off scot-free. The Nancy Pelosi's and everybody else who's profited for 30, 40, 50 years off the backs of people. And they might get a chance to tax you even more if he wins. Well, now a lot of that place, makes sense? Absolutely, 100%, because a lot of, some of these places uh, I know just for uh, for RCN alone, they weren't going to shut off people's services if they couldn't pay because of COVID. Okay, that was that was their promise. We promise we will not shut off your stuff if if you've been affected by the COVID virus. <clears throat> and people call in and they go, "Hey, uh, my bill's kind of high." COVID. And like they were just saying the words COVID, like it was a fucking coupon code. And they would be like, hey, uh, COVID, my, 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 my shit's too high and I can't afford it. Okay, no problem. Now, these companies, these businesses that were doing it. I can offer you free cable if you get the new neural LinkedIn chips screwed into your fucking yeah. head. Huh? Well, now also uh, car, car dealerships were doing it. Car dealerships were saying, if you bought this and you can't make your payments... We will, de we will defer your payments. We all talked about this, how they weren't throwing them away. They were just deferring them till a later date. Now this has gone on a little farther than everybody expected. This has kept going on a little bit further. COVID is still a thing. Even despite things being opened up again and people were like, cool, now we can collect on those payments. You still can't because they're still forcing, they're still saying it's an outbreak. They're still saying this is a, a, a high alert emergency. So now these companies have to find new ways to fuck you. They got to find new ways to collect because that's the thing. It's now this has gone too far. This has gone too long. We, we thought this was going to be a couple months. You guys are fucking us. And by you guys, I mean the public. You're fucking us over. You're not, you're, all you have to do is call and say COVID. And if somebody refuses to help you out or understand that you can't afford this, all you have to do is scream social media or the news, I can call editorials, and people back, they backpedal so fucking fast. Steve, or Sal, I want a shot of you just coming out of the front door, you know, from the front lawn shooting at you as you just go out on the, fr on the front porch and scream social media at the sky uh, in an angry <laughs> way. Uh, Stevie, uh, they want it. You got to provide it 19% off at stevierichardsfitness.com using the – COVID code. So no, we were actually going to do the, the, the you know, we were going to do the uh, COVID surcharge for that. Oh, uh, at you know, nineteen. Yeah, and you have to actually buy the shoulder mobility workout with one of the programs. I did it today. That the virus will see the add-on, the upsell, and go shit. I can't, I can't touch this motherfucker. Feel. See motherfucker three times, <laughs> right now, four times. <sighs> that Tony Shavani's right that now, Tony dude, Shavani has ruined you. That Tony no, Shavani. He's, he can go to hell. <laughs> I, he ruined my childhood. I'm going to talk about it mm. in, in, in another show. Mm -hmm. I talk about it all the time. Mm. Him and his. See so you on Patreon. One so, time. Just make a Patreon payment. You can see it. We're thinking about it. Actually. Soon enough. Soon enough it's coming. I, I want to close off this whole thought with this. Mm -hmm. The people that think 
people could have looked at this and said, man, we need to start living within our means. We need to start changing the way we live. We need to prepare because this might happen again as early as this fall, by the way. But no, man, it's been, the stores have been more crowded. The, the traffic has been worse or worse around here. People just don't know what to do. So they spend, there has to be, I mean, if the Nora Lincoln shut that down and calm these people down, that would be great. But <sighs> The bill is coming due, not for the politicians, not for the banks, not for the government, but for you. You're the one that, <laughs> if you think because you got six months off from paying your rent or your mortgage that that didn't get tacked on or you don't owe the apartment complex six months worth of rent or you don't owe an additional six months of interest on your mortgage, and then it key, you lose your job again. They're not going to, they're going to take your home. There's going to be so many people foreclosing or just walking away. If they're lucky, they might get a short sale, which is also going to be months and months and months. But that's the real part of it. I mean, and then there's the little parts like, you know, obviously not so little is the, the suicide rate among people that's going up. That's a, Divorce. That's a real pandemic. Yeah, sure. That's a real epidemic. Then you're looking at just little things like, how are people getting their cancer treatments? How are people even just getting their teeth cleaned or getting their, their, their health? I mean, there's, there's so many consequences that are cumulative. Now, besides just wearing the mask that you can't, you're not gonna be able to have proper food in a few months because of the food shortage that's coming. It's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna be just lingering on. It's gotta be good for a good 10 years. Economically and health-wise, we're gonna have a lot of problems. That's what you get when you misuse what I invent. Your empire falls and you lose every cent, infidels. Uh, and the, even in here in the chat, Dirty Turnbuckle says two grand a month they're getting in Canada. Remember that twelve hundred dollar check yeah, we got that that's one like time? Seven dollars US. Yeah. <laughs> but they that, they that's... told us they told everybody in Canada to stay the fuck home. We'll pay you to stay. Well, I'll home tell you what, Chris La, Chris Laplante's going to be paying double or triple once we get back on the road up there. Now that I know he's got all this extra free income, my I'm putting an extra zero on my indie rate. GGP, any promoters reaching out yet? Where are we booked? What's going on? Nope. Oh, well, that sucks. Nada más. So I told <laughs> you I had something. I had something in November, but all these other, all these companies, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. We don't know if shows are going to run soon. I mean, for God's sakes, we can't even have the gyms open. No, it's ridiculous. It's utter nonsense. Well, they it's wanted to. Nonsense. They wanted to run that show on eight eight in Ashland, Kentucky, and I was like, we'll see what goes on. July came and went is pretty much done and they know we running. Then I see OVW coming back. I look, they're running Indiana outside of the Kentucky shit to like get around it, force the hand. So PA's open. It, it's starting to it's starting to get crazy, man. It's gonna be like uh commissions versus established indies and who's gonna get around it, and here comes the fines, and then we're not running and shows get canceled once they don't. It's going to be a shitty time to be an indie wrestler. How are you going to, how are they going to make money? They can't make money. You can't have crowds. What are you going to book that? Were you going to book a, 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 a you, I, I, here's what I see. Anybody who wants to go to a show has to sign a fucking release, release they form. Won't, they will, it won't, it won't work because then the gyms can do that. And all these other businesses can do that. And they won't allow that. They can do it now. They can't do that. They can. PA's open. They could if they if they wanted to step up and say fuck you to the man and not be yep. part of the big corporate bailout that's coming. That's what they're waiting on. Is just bleed, 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 bleed. Here comes the big fucking that. We'll take the money, lay everybody off, bonus ourselves sixteen million for Christmas, fold it, reopen it at a fucking loss with new fucking uh, entrepreneurial loans. We'll cash in there too. And then we'll be back off to the races. That's what the you real owners are going to do. You might not be too far off of that because my brother told me yesterday that all the major gym companies, they all came together and all these mom and pop gyms and the smaller gyms came together to sue the government in New York for not allowing them to open. And then what happened was before before this thing started going down the stages where it's supposed to go, all the major gym, the big, the big, the big gym franchises backed out. Maybe they got paid under the table. I don't know. That's the but, power of the Stevie Richards fitness.com lobby. That is what he can fucking not only pull the strings, he can pull the bands on you and you're going to snap back right out of the fucking deal. Sally, what's going on this uh, week on horror junkyard? Uh, we are following up with our hot as fuck, uh, super <laughs> campy swamp ass season. Um, we're having croaked the frog demon from hell. 
Uh, you guys can check it out. It's on YouTube, so free for everybody who wants to watch it. How you spell um, it? We're going to C-R-O-A-K-E-D, croaked. Has croaked? it got anything? That, yeah, I think it's croaked. Did you enjoy um, the swamp fight uh, at Extreme Rules between Braun Strowman? Oof. I missed it. I, I missed that. Uh, was it? Was it? Was it as good as it sounded? We watched Bog last time, and I, I feel like Bog was the better fucking event. You could you could probably review it for Horror Junkyard if you wanted to. It was that bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're doing Croaked uh, Frog Demon from Hell, and that'll be finishing up our swamp ass July. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched the scene that supposedly the old man's goat is like the real star of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, I just I just threw it up just to random on YouTube. <laughs> And I went to a scene. The goat tries to get up on the bed and fall. So they, they like even yeah. the outtakes of the goat they just are left in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, man. this is uh, this is a good. This is one of the one of the good shits. Um, so yeah, we're just doing that, and uh, that's about it so far. We have, like you know, we still have the other stuff that we're trying to get together. Um, but aside from that, that that will be we're gonna, I'm probably going to record. I think tomorrow, tomorrow. I saw a gaming thing on one of the. Uh, it was that uh, we're in the matrix tech CEOs, cryptic last words video, blame mm-hmm. it on George can uh, channel, but it was sponsored by hunt a killer uh, gaming, like these boxes hunt a killer. Yeah. That's I thought that might be package. something we want to reach out to man with your gaming show coming up. If they're sponsoring already, yeah, those guys cool. are, those guys are covering a lot of people. They're doing right. a lot of people. Well, there's no reason they shouldn't be here with the best then. Um, also I, right before I came on, there was a commercial, um, on TBS <clears throat> for the Omen gaming laptop. Hmm. You would have zero idea this has to do with a laptop. They're talking about gamers giving their DNA to, to like all over the world because D to because gamers are better at everything. That's the, like, that's the joke of the, of the commercial, but it's for the Omen laptop, the gaming computer. But like, it has zero to do with a fucking hmm. gaming laptop. It was it was pretty I'll weird. Take a we, look we at that was, for sure. Me and my wife both watched it. We're just kind of like, "What the fuck is that?" But yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, but aside from that, we're just you know doing the same thing. We're uh, Chuck is. I have to tell you this. We we just did something this weekend with some game, and we me, me and a couple of friends got together just to kind of work on some video. Chuck has done some impressive shit. He's I don't know what new programs he's got, but he's he's up to his game. It's been pretty awesome. pretty good. Downloads, baby. Well, we're good. Yeah. We're, we want the video on uh, Hami Media Group on YouTube as well. So I'll have him get with okay. MSG and Ted and uh, definitely maybe give him all the access right there to start uploading okay. himself, whatever he wants to do. Cool. That Can way. I say something real quick? Absolutely. It's your fucking shout show. Out and congratulations to Eddie Kingston. He just, he was on um, AEW, AEW tonight good. And he fought, he fought, what's his name? Uh, Cody. So good for him. Oh, man. good. Wow. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Big Ray. Uh, successful surgery. Now he's resting comfortably and giving up smoking. Hasn't had a cigarette in two weeks. Uh, and he oh, says wow. he's not. Even the uh, sausage? Yeah. Well, he, he's got a couple of those <laughs> in his mouth. Still smokes. He still but, smokes. Uh, you know, we all care about him. We're glad uh, that he got through it. Tomorrow, Stevie and I have made a pact uh, eye for an eye. Uh, he's going to take out my eyes and I'm going to take out his so we don't have to watch any more wrestling after that. So that'll be early morning ultra kayfabe declassified Friday locker room taped on Thursday here at twitch.tv slash conspiracy horseman. You can join us early in the morning. Stevie, how, uh, I mean, Russo today was getting lasers in his eyes to go blind. I'm looking forward to being blind with you. It's going to be a good thing. Yeah. I mean, it really is. And then we can all be rushed to a medical, local medical facility. Yeah. So that, that, yeah, I want you to do it with your laser gun in my eye. That's how I'm hoping to get them taken up. Yeah, I got some, yeah, I got some stuff coming up. I got this Mantis uh, X10 uh, uh, dry and live fire uh, training uh, module type thing that has an app. So I'm going to, I'm going to start filming stuff here uh, for the dry firing part. And then we're going to go to the gun range and then, I have the, mm-hmm. the targets from when I the first two times I went shooting. So, going to compare and see how I can group cool. and how good I can get. I also got a, a they have a, a cartridge you put in there too that, that projects a laser, and I have targets 
that'll make an audible sound. So I'm going to combine those wow. and review those. So pretty cool stuff. Steve, you can also, we got the Accu bow coming. So I'm going to try some archery. I'm, I'm, Ooh. I, I'm this guy's I'm Rambo the fuck out, B. Rambo. Yeah, yeah. Rambo Richards, go ahead. Can I ask you a quick question, Stevie? Are you going to have some hard seltzers? And go around the house pointing the laser at the walls and making the cats go crazy chasing I the never, laser. No, I never like I I'm I have a healthy fear of this whole thing. That the the ammo and everything is nowhere close to this. I point it nowhere near anybody. That's I mean, right, not Ben knows he's talked to me. I don't I want actually I want Ben it. Ben to be a part of this review for this and talk to me about it. And I got the shotgun too. Awesome. I'm gonna test that out at the range. Wow. A bunch of stuff. I actually just uh, rem oiled up the old uh, Mossberg 500 myself. She was rocking cock, and I love that uh, sh- that shotgun uh, cock noise, man. Uh, can't get enough of that. Odin cock doesn't. Noise. Odin does. I just did it inadvertently. <laughs> that Reactor. little boy, I feel so bad. He hopped like a bunny rabbit out of the. Out of the- <laughs> he knew shit Sorry. gets real. That's you know. that's the sound. That means shit is about to get real. It doesn't matter if you're an animal or a human. When you hear that motherfucker, you know it's about to get real. You better get real and start emailing the NFO podcast and the horror junkyard. These guys putting up top uh, top quality entertainment for you. And you better stop uh, sending back. Oh, I, was, I want to do Stevie Richards Fitness, but I just don't have the time or whatever. Get started. Get started. Get off your ass and do something every day to improve that's my your life. One. Yeah, that's your favorites. I know. So. We don't want to lose the NFO. We want to keep it going. Horror Junkyard, they're all great properties to spin out into other realms and bring people into the Hami and Media Group, you guys. So please keep sharing. Like the new Hami and Media Group stuff. Add it to your feed. Uh, new T-shirts out uh, all over at uh, Russo's brand. He's got You Can't Kidnap a Wrestler. I got a new one out at Crossfire Wrestling that way. And you know all of our pro wrestling tees uh, stores. They're right in the comments here, Infidels. Best way to support us. While there are no shows going on and they think 2CW is going to run again, we'll see, infidels. Because nothing's going to (laughs) run if it is the way it is right now because it's all going to be shut down by the end of August and who knows what it's going to look like. But we'll be here until they start charging for the airwaves and the podcast and the FCC cracks down and they say who and can't have a voice. But we'll just find another way around. You can ban QAnon, but it's R-Anon with the horsemen, infidels, always switching up the game here at hackerhameen.podbean.com. Yalla! (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.